Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to SKTV. Um, thank you for your continuous support. Welcome to SKTV. Welcome and welcome. And as you join us, let us know where you're following us from and help us share the show. Share the show, please. Share the show. Let us know where you're following from. Please. Thank you and thank you. Let us know where you're following us from, please. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good day. Good day and good day. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good day. Share the show. Let us know where you're following us from, please. Um, Siku Monk. Uh, Millbone, the guys from Liberia will be following us. Okay. Folks, let us know where you're following us from, please. I can see that. Let us know where you're following us from. Uh, Mam Benu's son, King Sharif. I don't need to give you any reason why you should share the show. The fact that you're here, you are asked to please share the show. If you choose not to share it, that's fine. Come here with foolishness you will be blocked or you'll be restricted from committing. This is not where you play. This is not where you play. Carry that fool over somewhere else. You don't need to be here if you don't want to be here. But if you're here, then you either follow instruction or you sit quietly and shut your mouth. So it's your choice. Say you want attention, let me give you attention. I know mom, what kind of song? Mom, whose song, whatever it is. I could care less about who your mom is or who your dad is. That's not important. So don't ask foolish questions again. Okay, you want a reason why you gotta share the show you who you think I have foolish that I own everybody on here. Okay. It ain't that easy. <laughs> but folks, let's share the show, yeah. Please help us share share the show, please. Those who want to be foolish and want to get attention, we, we get we probably wouldn't want to get different different in name. We get different different in name. Those who want to be foolish, we can work with them. Those who want to also be sound, we can work with them. We get different different category of people dealing with. Share the show, please. Please share the show. Thank you for sharing the show. Those of you that are sharing it, those who don't, do not want to share it, that's fine. Let me start from the bottom here. Um, thank you, Samuel. Yes, Samuel, I can tell that you're now on Facebook. You're watching from YouTube. I can tell that. Um, Young people, Young is from New Jersey. Um, Um, young people, young is from New Jersey. Uh, 
we say, hmm, Jibe, we say, is from Minnesota. Um, what else? Um, what did Mid Woman say? Melbourne says you're trying to come on, but the internet is off and on. Melbourne, let me send you the link again. Let me send you the link again. And that is it today in Liberia. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about. But let's share the show, folks. Um, Samuel is watching us from Ocean City, United States. Samuel, can you please clarify that Ocean City, which state it is? Because some people might not know. Um, Aquila. As Tapas Senior is watching us from Sweden. Thank you, Aquella. Paul Chala is watching us from Husta, MA. You know that one of the places I've never been, I always drive past it. I've been to Boston, I've been to Rhode Island, I've been to other cities around there. But for some reason, I don't know. I don't know what you did to me. I don't I don't come to your state, Husta. Never been to Husta. Worcester, um, Massachusetts. I think I should make make up my mind because I'm due to be around that side soon. I think I should come and visit you guys over there because I have never been there and it's a shame on me. I will have to admit, unfortunately, it is a shame on me. It's a big shame on me. But I share the show, folks. As you write and let us know where you're from, we We'll recognize you and Ali Donzo is from New York City, the Big Apple. Yes, New York City. Um, Ashford King Ashford Wright is from North Carolina. Yes, King Ashford Wright from North Carolina. Now, you know, North Carolina, your airport, every time I go there, it can confuse me, but it's not a bad airport. Bro. Okay, Evelyn. Evelyn Joe is watching us from Oma Muscat. Okay. Hmm. Dominic Doye is watching us from Cape Mount. Rose Russell is watching us from Chicago. Rose, how are you? I know you're one of our followers. Um, Daisy. Is wide enough from Houston, Texas. I don't know where her name is. Ma, Ma Benu song, King Sheree. I don't, I don't, I don't entertain fools though. You know that fools are not my friends. If you think I'm talking on you, that's your business. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I'm telling you, you come on the platform, you behave yourself, you don't ask foolish questions, and you just put yourself together, you'll be fine. I think Monk is here. Give me a second, folks. I am experiencing something. Monk, if you are there, uh, folks, give me a second. I'm experiencing something. I hate this. Just one second. Monk, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't hearing you, bro. Um. Folks, let's share the show, please. Yeah, let's share the show. I mean, Mon I'm on the radio, but let's share the show. Yes, uh, what he mean, Millborn, I've been communicating. He said he's trying his best to come on, but you know the system, you know what's been going on in like, Liberia. The internet was not even stable before the whole you use that there. Then the internet now uh, get funny now, so it just, it just works off. But anyway, Monk, what's up? What's going on? Well, um, nothing, else. nothing new. We're just following the politics, both domestic, international, U.S. politics, Washington, what happening with the power outage. It was like five different countries, so Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, Liberia, Africa. So it was not something that is only, that was only pertaining to Liberia, but other countries, even far across the Sahara, way down South Africa, as well got hit. So I know it's a far back outage issue. Maybe the big players. The people that control the global infrastructure, maybe they are testing something we don't know. We, 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 we cannot tell exactly what's happening. All we know, there was internet outage and communication outage, but it's bigger than what people think it is. So we all know because it's happened 
it was continental. It's not like one country. I mean, it's not only in West Africa, all the way as far as South Africa, so who knows? Yeah. Yes. Um, you know, Monk, quickly, just before we get into the conversation today, when you when you say when you say um fiber optic, many people, you know, many many of all who don't know the BB word and what it really mean. Fiber optic, yes, the latest technology when it comes to the speed of the internet. You know, we came from dollar to uh how they call it one DSL digital subscriber login that uses the phone line, but fiber optic is kind of for the infrastructure built below the Atlantic Ocean at the seabed. It's very fast. It carry more low time and more speed, and it's a global infrastructure. That's what people link to, you know. And there are only a few companies giving exclusive right to run that kind of a technology, including the U.S. military. So that's why you see they say they having cable that came to Liberia is the fiber optic network, very high speed kind of for internet connectivity below the seabed, the surface of the water, and it spreads to different continents in the world. So there was a disruption. For me, I, I don't think it was technical issue. I think it was done deliberately because you cannot come from South Africa and jump over Central Africa and go all the way to West Africa. So who knows where the oil are? You know, we are all interconnected. When they say the world is a global village, we are all connected to that cable on water. No, whether you're in Europe, whether you're in Africa, everybody is interconnected. That's why you see now, look, coming with backup. You see the Starlink? Technology from and, 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 that, and that was and that was going to be my next question. Yeah. So the Starlink, the Starlink, the Starlink seem to be more is different than this because it's more satellite driven, right? It's satellite driven. It's not like fiber optic. It's just another. It's just another layer, another level of internet connectivity. So the Starlink, and you know the guy who's behind the Starlink already. You know what he what he's all about. Even yeah, but but, 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 but monk, 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 monk. Let, sure. <laughs> You know we we'll get we we'll get into we we'll get into the politics for the day, but but yeah. but, but let, let's let's get to the whole Starlink versus the fiber optics cable under the sea and this and that. Uh, pr preferably, preferably the Starlink would would be the preferable choice. Uh, can we can we say now or can we insinuate that for business or strategic purposes? Maybe can we speculate that? This is why they're trying to show the default or create a reason in 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 in, in this whole fiber optics issue that's been going on for under the sea for decades. Mm -hmm. If they're operating now, the Starlink wants to come in, which is satellite driven. Is this a business venture that they're on, or is this a political? It, venture? it, it is a business and a political. I mean, a, a venture. Don't don't forget the U.S. set the standard for the rest of the world, whether it's right. a business. So. We know the guy beyond Starlink. We know where he stands on issue. Not matter of fact, he just been in the lawsuit. I mean, they tried to rob him off his uh, investment in Delaware, in the state of Delaware, because it seems like he trying to expose things in this country and the kind of a road that he's taking, whether it's from social media. That was the reason he bought Twitter. Don't forget. He bought Twitter because he believed that people with opposing view were being, were being marginalized on Twitter. He spent 40 billion. And nobody, when you when you get time, go and read some of the quality Twitter files. He told the American people in the war at large that the CIA, the FBI, and the intelligence agency were leveraging Twitter to silence people with opposing and dissenting political view. That's why he spent his money to expose the US government. So when I when I started following deep about this Starlink thing and how few corporations want to control communication in satellite and, and how they call it not satellite, but internet around the world. Maybe it's his version of a backup or alternative to the fiber optic network by going to the, the satellite image. What, what, what Lofa, Lofa, I know me, you might not have chance. Lofa say he he, nope, he doesn't agree with that. Lofa, you can call me really quick so you can hear your view on this because it's important, you know. These things are very important for us to discuss. Given some of the uh given some of the issue that's been going on, you know, um given some of the issue that's been going on, I think it's very I think it's very important for us to to ensure that we shine light on some of these things, you know. And, but, but, but Monk, I know you are talking about Elon Musk, right? And 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 I mean, let's let's bring it back home here. Do you do you foresee us using the Starlink as the as the internet service provider going forward, as opposed to what we have been using over the past years? Which you know, sometimes we have glitches here, we have this, we have that. And bear also in mind, Mark, please bear also in mind that internet um, services and cable providers or whatever it is around the world, um, in the United States, I mean, around the States, that's how they make their income, like telephone providers, um, whether it's T-Mobile, whatever it is. 
what, what, where do you think we're headed with this whole issue? When you when you look at it from a bigger standpoint, it's not only about providing service, it's all about controlling the narrative in terms of communication, in terms of information. So it got a political tone to that. If if, if you look at the game, it's almost like Elon Musk versus Jeff Bezos. That's why exactly. it's into. <laughs> Jeff Bezos is on the left and Elon Musk is on the right. Jeff Bezos, he into pharmaceutical. Now he not only you know you know Amazon started with shipping books. But mm -hmm. now Jeff Bezos is almost like a lobbyist. He bought the Washington Post. He controls communication and information. He got share in all the social media platform. He he into politics. He controls most of the biggest retailer in the world. That's why you see Jeff Bezos got five stinking rotten rich during the COVID because you couldn't go to your nearby corner, so you had to order almost everything from Amazon. And he into more about communication now. The argument here is there are only six corporations in America that controls ninety five percent of all the information around the world. So Elon Musk is still trying to step on the field. We see what the kind of game Elon Musk is playing with Starlink, with the Neural Link. But Elon Musk as well, he wants to get into, he owns now X, another platform outside of Twitter. He's the one that the majority shareholder in Twitter, I can say technically he runs Twitter. So it's almost like a same conservative versus liberal mindset only taking to the business side of things. That's how I see it. So the whole fiber optic and the AT&T and the Verizon wireless node, Moss is trying to provide an alternative, especially for developing countries that are yet to be exposed to fiber optics kind of for internet connection. That's why it's happening, technically. Well, <laughs> the, the, the little man will not understand must, some yeah. the things that are going on, especially with the, like you said earlier, I don't want to use the word fight, but with the competition going on between that's this one, Elon Musk, you know, um, Elon Musk, speaking of news, Elon Musk just these few days, I think he let go Dan Lemon uh, from CNN. Dan oh, Lemon, yes. CNN. He let he let go Dan Lemon, you know, I was, yeah. reading, I was reading about it, and, and, and it's very <laughs> interesting, it's fascinating how how these guys, you know, operate the way yeah. they operate, you know, and, and like you said, it's all about control, it's all about control. Media is all about the perception and so forth. You, you know, yesterday, Mark, the video that you and I were, were, were listening to from that pastor, from that man of God, who is not only a pastor, but he's also an economist. Um, mm -hmm. He teaches economy. Um, he talks about money. He's very interested in money, in how money operates and so forth. There's a statement he made that I think was very powerful. Very, very powerful. And mm -hmm. and I sat and I thought about it. You know, he, he said social media is it's, it's for social interactions. You know, and, and when you when you bring your personal issues to social media, it's not a solution media. <laughs> you know, it's social media. Yeah. You can't blame people for running with it or for talking about it when you bring your personal situation to social mm -hmm. media. I think that was a very, very powerful, powerful statement for him oh, yeah. because it's social media. What do you say? How do you well, react? Social media is all about social media. That's why you see most of the executives that establish or created this platform, they don't, they can barely use it because the idea is, look, uh, 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 Moses, Moses, information controls the world. That's why yeah. the, the media used to determine who become president because we never have privilege to information. These days, everybody have access to information. So when you have access to information, like you got leverage and social media is one major tool. You know, social media, people don't understand social media is even more powerful than radio. Because radio, if it makes a programming, there is no replay, but there is a button on the social media they call the share button. Mm -hmm. That our the compounding power of social media. You could do a 20-minute podcast with our single person watching, and within three hours, more than a million people can watch it, even with I've been present when you were podcasting your show. That's the power of social media. Social media is very powerful and very, very effective. So you see that corporation now, everybody wants to have a social media presence. Because it's a marketing tool, it's a controlling tool, it's a disruptive tool as well. So, you, 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 I mean, it comes at no surprise as to why most will want to be engaged into X and at the same time buying Twitter. The common person is that why will a man spend 40 billion just to buy Twitter? But he knew exactly what he was doing. I tell people, at a certain stage in life, when you are filtered rich, it's not about the money. Money becomes useless. You all have a power, control, and influence. And that's what everybody is fighting for. Power, control, and influence. So everybody want to get a share of that. That's what's happening. Well, folks, uh, if you're just joining us, this is SKTV. We are having a candid conversation here about what's going on around the world. And you know, Monk, interestingly, interestingly, with 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 everything that's going on around the world, uh, with everything that's going on around the world, it's interesting for you to always to also see that, you know, um, 
how the world was disconnected from parts of Africa yesterday. Um, some Liberians were confused. You know, uh, this is a generation, the age of social media or media, wherein, you know, people are connected, we can say the global village. Um, we don't, you don't know what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what's going on there. You know, the means of, even the means of transaction from a financial mm -hmm. standpoint. Yesterday, mm -hmm. for the business people, I felt sorry for them because a lot of people who invest or who have businesses in like in Africa and other places that were affected by this, yeah. lots of money. Governments also lost money yesterday. Oh yes. You know, um, um, so it was a it was a big hit around the world. Some people, you know, I see some people posting, oh yeah, not get internet, you know, just for the fun or whatever it mm -hmm. is. But it was well, bigger. It's than that. <laughs> <laughs> How do you react to that, Mo? It is serious. It's just a means of telling you that we can hit you from so many angles and just get a taste of how the impact will be like, right? Take, mm -hmm. for example, if that was to happen on a, on a continental scale in America, your credit card, your debit card, the gas station, think about or electromagnetic import that can hit you, and let's assume whether it's an attack from China or Russia, and all the communication services are disrupted. How do you think mm -hmm. life is going to be? Are you going to be chaos and anarchy? So it just gives people a taste of things to come. That is, if the worst case scenario were to happen, whether it's a disruption, by the deep state or people with absolute power, whether it was an EMP attack, whether it's from any major player, whether it's North Korea, whether it's China, whether it's Russia, it just tells you that the stage we are reaching our human evolution, one major disruption could, could send a ripple effect throughout the universe, throughout the world, because we are all connected to the electrical grill. We all have internet connection our whole life. Most and most, the thing about waking up in the morning on a day that you cannot reach to a guy like me or Seku, to make a phone call or to even send you a text message. How life is going to be like now that we are so used to the kind of a way of living for almost more than, I would say, more than two generations now, 40 years and counting, that your life is so immersed into technology and one morning you wake up, every service is disrupted. How your life will be like? Monk, <laughs> as, 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 as joking or as simple it might sound, it, it takes me back to the impact of COVID. You know, these few days I... You know, I think our last year I did a research on the impact of COVID. I'll get back to, to something very interesting. Mm -hmm. I'll get back to something very interesting about this whole technology and AI. We'll come back to that, but I want to bring something to your attention quick before we come to AI and the impact of AI in collaboration with this whole satellite, new satellite, digital, internet stuff that is coming about very, very soon for the next generation. But I want to talk about the impact of COVID because you talk about how not being able to communicate with you or sick on the phone or other people, loved ones and so forth, right? Family member, people take these things for joke. During the COVID, I realized something when I did, when I did this research and, and we can hear people saying that humans, we are social beings. That is true. And we can't live in isolation. We cannot. That's why you see throughout even the Bible, when people came together or when people come together, they have so much potential to do lots of things in a very short period of time. They're very, very fast. They're, they're, they're expedient in what they would do, in what to be able to achieve their goals. So, Monk, I realized in this research that the COVID, that, that thing what we call social distancing, exposed a lot of people, whether from an anxiety standpoint, a depression standpoint, or a, there's a new disorder now that's that's common amongst us that we use just generically if we can't come up with a general or pinpoint or certain disorder it's called adjustment disorder lots of people are having started having adjustment disorders because of the potential of not being able to associate that social distancing where you can't do what you're supposed to do your normal activity you can't go out to the to the to the club you can't go out to the bar you can't go out to to to, to associate other people in the park mm -hmm. to play sports to interact to just go how we are as, as human just going to places like walmart or 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 the store or to have dinner out or do other things just that association the lacking of it creates a serious impediment for human beings. I just want to make sure I point that out. Uh, uh, uh. And so this is this is very, very interesting. But I wanted to come to the part of the AI, Monk. I want to come to the part of the AI before we get into the politics and the daily uh, uh, Liberian conversation. I want to talk about the, the issue of AI. 
there's a couple of there are different researchers out there. I've been reading some of them that in the next few years, AI will take over about 40% of jobs, such as a lot of people will be laid out. Even on your phones, they give you the possibility to download free AI. That was somebody, look, some of your uh, advocate there, your people who can be writing plenty. That AI they can be using yet, not their own brain yet. And you're here today. They like what the rail. That AI they can be using. They got a different different program and what they can put in there. And some of them you can even speak to them. There is a there is another one called a dragon we use for for documentations. You know, all we do is just I, I sit there and just hold dragon and, and talk to dragon and say, you know, met with this patient at so so and so time. And it's it's typing it out. It is typing it out. And we type it up correctly. All you have to do is just read over it and save it. That's your note for the day, and you are out. You don't have to sit there and be typing. So all of this, what, what do you say about the impact of AI and people? And, and, and there's this huge research that's coming out about the danger and the risk it poses. What do you say? The, the, the whole race about AI, we heard the AI stuff more than 20 years ago. You see, that's why I believe. I don't know about people. You know, when you try to do this kind of a deep thought and start thinking deep, people consider it to be, oh, he's a conspiracy to like, just think for one second. The very first thing that surfaced more than 20 years ago in mostly Scandinavian countries because of their limited population or low population, they came up with something. You, could, you, you can go and research it as well. They call it UBI, Universal Basic Income, wherein you will give people a certain amount of money based on their monthly expense. It's almost like a help from the government. So people started questioning, but why would the government want to carry on an experiment almost in every country around the world, maybe like a test experiment, as to give certain, they, they did it yesterday, they say it was a few experiment in Colorado, I think they came up with their final report. Why would the government want to give people free income? Because those, the people saw it, they called it the fifth industrial revolution. Now we came to the, the web 2.0 after the 90s, when Nesky went public, when Bill Gates, and they said, the you can remember the Y2K in Africa world? When yeah. Nesky went public, yeah. They say everything was going to shut down. They're now we're first general, but things shutting down. What in Africa world about this thing? But guess what? The AI, AI is the fifth industrial revolution. People believe that because technology is changing, they want to automate everything to replace the human labor. That, that, that's what robotic and AI is all about. And you just give one instant, and it's going to disrupt every industry. Can you imagine? Even people that do trading for a living on Wall Street now, everybody is migrating to something called algorithmic trading, where the robot is going to do, be the one placing or trades from you. I mean, for you. So it's in the medical industry. It's in education now. It's in healthcare and everything. Everything is going back to the machine. So most definitely, we are going back to the same UBI, universal basic income, because if you're going to take almost one third or one fourth of all the jobs available on the planet due to artificial intelligence, then you might as well be able to compensate people. So it's the same cartel. It's the same people that won't control. Because you ask yourself, you look at Africa, developing countries, people can yet, they are yet to find jobs, even in all industry. The opportunity is not available. Then think about adding AI. Isn't that insult to injury? If you're going to add AI to something that human beings are supposed to, let, let me give you one example. Say you're running your business, you have 600 employees. Now, with one software, you can replace your entire finance accounting department with one click of a button. Do you know how many people you're going to pull out of job? Think about the factory. Yeah, but but but, but Monk, Monk, let's yes. let's 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 be let's let's be realistic here about about the pros and the cons of AI and other technology that has been infused into our technological world or to our society now let's be let's let's be realistic about it does that does that mean that uh if there is a glitch or there is a similar thing that happened yesterday and ai highly highly solely rely on internet connectivity yeah. and, and 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 so forth does that mean that the word goes back into revert or everything stops as soon as ai is no longer functional after you've invested so much in it, laid off so many people, mm -hmm. what say you? And you see, that's one of the reasons they got people that always oppose this to the kind of for technology, technological advancement, what's the way you want to call it, right? There will always be people that oppose this. People believe that no matter how smart you can be on AI, there is no piece of machine or animal on this planet that is more intelligent than the human species because the AI needs to be programmed by a human. The sure. question is, who controls the source codes to all these AI or the robotics because it got to be human being that will program them. Mm -hmm. That is where people are looking at from things from an ethical standpoint, always oppose this kind of idea because 
I'm mean, letting me give you something, Steve. If you are the program, if I was to put you in a computer lab and give you series of source code to program an artificial intelligence or a machine to carry on a basic function, how do you think you're gonna program that machine based on how you think? You, you your, 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 your feeling, the way you perceive things, your political view, that's how you're gonna program the machine. Because no matter how sophisticated machine is, it still needs to be programmed by a human. The question is who control the source of all these things? That's what the problem is. People want it open and that people want them to be transparent. But unfortunately, like I said, it's all about wealth, it's all about control, it's all about communication, it's all about business, it's all about information. So the people with the power and leverage to disrupt anything. Look, when they tell you that the US is the most powerful country in the world, why make you think someone want to make a statement like that? Because they know they got people in institutions here that can press one button and they could literally obliterate any part of the universe, whether it's about technology, whether it's about communication in so many ways. So People are always oppose this thing, but unfortunately, we are getting little guys. We cannot do anything about it. We just have to adapt. But, 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 but on another end, on another front, on another front, because again, talking about technology, talking about the newest form of technology that is coming, apart from the, 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 the and, and, and I want to reference Lofat's point here on here because Lofat makes a very good point here. So, this is not the first time this happened. The only reason why it's been, it, it, why it became a story is because of uh, you know the part of the world it took place. They are heavily relying on the fabric, the fiber transmission. Lofa, I have to agree with you, but here is my question, because like you said, people need to control these things. There is a political honor tone, there is a fight, <laughs> global control, and so forth. So my question to you, most recently, look, this is very, this is very interesting and deep. Most recently, places like Russia and China, there's been lots of uh, conversation about people going um, to the moon again, remember? Yes. Uh, America just landed on the moon again, uh, this time around in a different way. <laughs> Russia is also pushing for that. China is also pushing for pushing that. For that. And so, so, so there's this global power struggle and fight to get control. As evidenced by that also, most recently, I think you and I were talking about it brief, briefly last night, you and I had a lengthy conversation not last night about this morning because yes, it was late, almost like two a.m. my time here. So exactly, we stayed on the phone and we talk about some of these things. We're not. We're talking about it. We're talking about how Russia and other people are compensating in 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 looking at Africa, like we you that we say back in the days in history, the struggle yes. for Africa. So 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 my question to you now is: <laughs> is this is this this global war struggle and power struggle? Is it all incorporated into this as to? Yes. Determine who who leads this fight, uh, who controls the messaging, yeah. who controls the, the, the atmosphere and the air and so forth. Yes. It's all about it. That's that's the whole idea of the geopolitics. Everybody on a global chessboard and only for the for control and influence. Don't forget, Russia was an empire before the America in the 20th century. They were one of the most powerful, if not the powerful, after the Roman Empire. But why America did? America did the same old thing through the Cold War to disintegrate what the Soviet Union. Now, how do you get power and control? You got to grow your economy first thing because you cannot grow a military. It's the economy that finances the military to buy advanced weaponry, right? So mm -hmm. you will never see a smaller country on the planet with a powerful military. You have to have economic power before you can grow military power. Now, what okay. military power is all about? It's all about control. If you go to Africa, now what's happening in Africa? The Chinese are giving loans to African countries with the expectation that if you don't pay your loan, why they want the two things when you're airport and your seaport? It's not about control. They want to sure. control trade. Why you saw happen in Burkina Faso, or uh, how they call it, say, Burkina Faso, uh, uh, Niger, and how they other call the three, Afri the three African countries, right? And, uh, Mali. Mali, where you see the military taking over. Who are they leaning to war? Russia. Yeah. Because they say, you know what? The French have been sucking off for centuries. They want to pay pennies on the dollar for all our resources. They, we, we, pro we produce uranium. Right, they want they want nuclear energy. They want all this kind of for advanced technology. Where the raw material is coming from, but they want to give up pennies on the dollar for our raw material. And Russia is willing to offer up more. Who do you think we're going to lean to? Russia with the French. We are going with Russia. So, in as much as we, that the U.S. want to disintegrate Russia by taking Ukraine, you know, I always give the example between Ukraine. I say Russia will never rest until they can get Ukraine back. That's the same way China will never rest until they can get Taiwan back. Because I gave the analogy, if you were in Liberia, right? Everything is central around Monrovia, right? Even though we got 13 counties, but the vast majority of, let's say, goods and services flow through Monserrado County is the hub for the entire country. 
Mm -hmm. If once Rado come there, just wake up one day and say we don't want to be going to follow Labro, what's going to happen to Labro? Oh, it would, it would, it would, it would, it would be very, I don't know, discombobulated, isolated, they would, they would, they would, they would, they would, they would, yeah, they would, they would staff, they would staff, staff. They would staff. Yes, there would be some serious chaos and problems. Businesses will, it, it would be, it would be so chaotic yeah. and problematic. There was the same thing that happened with Ukraine. You got all the top scientists in the in, in, in the Soviet Empire at the time were in Ukraine. All the major oil problems passes to Ukraine. All the, uh, the, the, the biological lab is in Ukraine. All the seaports that are strategically there for their biological, their chemical weapon, their nuclear weapon, everything is in Ukraine. And one day Ukraine said she doesn't want to be part of the, of the Soviet Union. What happened? Everybody left the Soviet Union. But the moment Ukraine left the Soviet Union, that's when the Soviet Union collapsed. So it was strategic. So whether it's Russia, whether it's China, what do you think about the BRICS nation? The whole idea that the Brazil, the India, the South Africa can one come to one currency. Isn't this about control? To rival the US currency, to weaken the US? That's why it's all about. At the so, end of the day, it's come to control and power. It's nothing more. Nothing so more, Mark, nothing less. Monk, from a spiritual standpoint, you know, and, and sometimes people uh, people overlook these things. From a spiritual standpoint, yeah. Um, if you carefully read the Bible or get to understand the Bible, even one of the most important things, one of the most important places and most mm -hmm. important territory to be very effective, efficient, and be in control is the air. It's very important. Mm -hmm. It's very, very important. That's why if you if you look at America's strength, mm -hmm. they are stronger in the air. Yeah. And that's why the symbol, the, the symbol of this country is the ego. Yeah. Every country has a symbol. A powerful to. country uses ego as their. <laughs> exactly. And the reason for that is a, is a huge. So, so, so mm -hmm. I'm saying this to say, and that's why one of the fastest, one of the fastest means of transportation is plane. It's or definitely. the airplane, whatever it is. Yeah. So, 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 because, you know, I was talking to Seko and I went somewhere and there was, a, there was this pilot, you know, were lecturing and he was showing us some pictures. And I was very, I was very interested in understanding how the air works, mm -hmm. how things work in the air. And, and he was explaining to us that when you reach a certain altitude, you, yeah. a certain place in the air, you know, they can just put it on cruise control. On autopilot. <laughs> and they are, yeah, exactly, autopilot, and they're relaxed. You know, sometimes they can take a nap, sometimes they can be up there and be on Facebook, and, you know, and the player is going, <laughs> right? And we don't even feel it. But he also told me there is another dimension, there is another level also, <laughs> where the military go. <laughs> you see, <it? laughs> he said there's another. So I'm. I was asking myself, okay, hold on. I told him, I said, hold on. Mm -hmm. If you can go a certain level, mm -hmm. and you are chilling like that, like you said, mm -hmm. and you are relaxed. So he, he said to me, he said, it is so safe and mm -hmm. so comfortable to the point that I want you to. to I want to ask you, how many times do we have plane crashes? Mm -hmm. The one to have our cars uh, and or or or, or <laughs> ship going on on the water. Ship. Thinking of shipwreck, yeah. he said. He said there's so much space up there, up there, that we don't understand, we don't see. And he said the way the things are programmed to the point that even when you're, even when somebody else is coming closer to you from a certain distance, it starts to alarm, it starts to create this problem, and people, both parties are aware. He said it, it, it's similar to the cars that they are making now. Some of the cars are so equipped, self-driving self car. <laughs> yeah, to the point that when somebody in certain distance, certain feet away from you, yeah. You know, to a lot or whatever it is. Yes. So, so I was fascinated by that. I said, so then what's up there on top of you? He said that, that only the military thing can go up there. They're allowed to go <laughs> a certain level. <laughs> you know? And, yeah. and, and, we this conversation. and the reason I'm saying this is when you are reading the Bible, the Bible talks about, you know, um, the third heavens, mm -hmm. the other part of the heaven, to the extent that even Daniel, when Daniel was praying, one of his mm -hmm. prayers, the Bible said your prayer was held up. Yeah, oh. said, <laughs> so, so you see, and I start to relate like these things and put them together and start to understand, yeah. you know, and say, oh, okay, that thing makes more sense now. Yeah. Like, even from a spiritual standpoint. That's the point. So, sorry to say, most recently, yeah. Omar passed away. And they said she was a wish crowd. Most of the yeah. time, they would say, oh, uh, the wish they were flying. Okay, they were flying at a certain level. And they fly at a certain level. But there yeah. are other different levels that people go. Yeah. The farther that people go, and 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 and, and interestingly, Monk, interestingly, yeah. most people don't understand because I wanted to understand the symbol of America. I wanted to mm -hmm. understand the ego. The ego. I, started, I, started to, I started to I started to study the ego in relations to 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 religion. Mm 
Yes. Guess what I had to understand? The further the ego go up, the mm -hmm. clearer you can see. Yeah, they see further than any animal that would go yes. into the mountain. So, so when, when ego goes up high, high, it sees much better than when it is a certain level. Yes. So the, the vision of the ego is determined by this the, the height it goes. The height right? of the flight. Right. So so that's 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 very interesting. But also when you read the Bible, it also equates the ego to profit. Yes. That is a symbol of them. The CEO, in other words, but Mr. Kane, welcome to the show. Uh, <laughs> last night, oh, folks, uh, I know we're about to get into the politics here, but just to, uh, just to announce to your last night, uh, I was able to breathe fast with Sydney. <laughs> yeah, 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 you never fasted. That's <laughs> that's unfair. You never fasted, but you broke fast. No, let's see more. I'll fast in my heart. Let's see, I'll fast in my heart, brother. You understand? So, after work, I just went over there. Me and Sibu. last night, I don't know what Sibu there. You know, the team Sibu, Sibu they can do something and do that and what it called. I passed the major and made me adjust something. I look at something away. Last night, I, you know, I, I couldn't even feed myself. We ate so much, you know, that, and you know, Mr. Kanye learned to learn again, to learn while looking at things. <laughs> we'll face things to learn again. Why don't we walk the show, Mr. Kanye? And um, how are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing great. I actually I was enjoying the conversation. I've been in the back for me, <laughs> and I really, really enjoy the, you know the conversation um yeah in relation to what you were saying about <clears throat> with that pilot that we met the last time when we were yes walking he even said something that um he said because they for him they moved the the private jets the private plane they this they, they for him they go higher way higher than than the regular Plane that they pass into commercial flights, they can go up to 45,000 feet. Thousand, can you imagine that? For if they can go 10,000 should be the normal flight, they can go 15,000 more. Yeah, they, they say the normal flight, the highest can go 15 to 20,000 to you know, maximum 30,000. That 30,000 at maximum, speed. yeah, but they can go up to 45,000 height. And then he said the military plane can go up to 50,000, 60,000 feet. That's that's why they they move faster than any other any other plane. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, it was very educative, you know, yeah. for us. And the conversation was very, 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 you know, good, and we really enjoyed it. Yeah, that's yeah. But and Monk, I mean, you guys been carrying on the conversation very. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And, TV. <laughs> and I really look forward to seeing that. Um, I really look forward to seeing our pilot again. Well, I, again, we want the middle. I'm going to invite him. Yeah, let's let's have a conversation. You know, we'll break it fast on the weekend or something <laughs> that we can, you know, put ourselves together. No problem. He's a, he's a brother. I can I, I can I can call him. We can invite him when he's off. But he's okay. not off. He's always flying. Yes, yes. He, he yeah. He always says, he said. Uh, and, and Mr. Kelly, somebody added to to the conversation here that we're having. You know, uh, as, like I said, I was doing, I was doing a research on ego. You know, Joel says that. You know, not 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 only that the ego has the, the, the vision where it goes up high, but it also has the capability of flying a higher altitude without having oxygen deficiency. That's that's yeah. critical. Yes, yes. I mean, ego. That's ego. why the carries are risen. When an ego wants to kill a little bird, it does not poke on the bird. It clip the bird to the back and take it a higher altitude until the bird can suffocate to death. Exactly. Like eagles know a certain how you're not going to yeah. be able to breathe. Yeah. Yes. That's how eagle usually kill her prey. They take it up to higher altitude and let it die naturally without hitting on them. At a, at, a oh. certain, at a certain altitude, Mr. Kane, I also realized that you don't, and, and I agree, I realized that you do not breathe. You lost oxygen and so forth. You know, but that's why, that's why, that's why when we get in the plane and we're, we're reaching a certain altitude, you know, you can say oxygen, you're, you're, yeah, you're you know, yeah. exactly, you're dropping your different altitude, they can be telling you you're dropping the altitude or whatever. But folks, good conversation about AI technology and all these extra things. We want to get into the politics. This to tell you that SKTV is not just about everyday politics and so forth. But in other news, there's a kind of a lot of things happening around the world. Very interesting. Yeah. Haiti, as we speak, um, I've been reading and following the news also with Haiti. Seem to be turning into a gangster paradise as we speak. Very, very unfortunate, but it's interesting that this part of the country, um, I think, um, it's 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 being led by 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 gangsters, problem people, and as we speak, U.S. 
personnel are being evacuated, taken away from there, and so forth. This is uh, this is very very troubling for the people of Haiti. It's very very concerning. Also, in other parts of the world, uh, President Donald Trump, in other news, uh, wanted the case in Mar-a-Lago to be squashed, but uh, it cannot be it cannot be squashed. It cannot be squashed. Uh, the judge said no. They're not throwing it out. No more. They don't want to hear that news. He didn't want to read that part of the news. Why are you always giving a negative news about Trump and you don't get it positive? Well, no, 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 no. Why you look at the Georgia part? You only look for the negative part of Trump to give you. No, no. Why you don't care about what happened in Georgia? No, I will get to the Georgia part. I will get into the Georgia part. To your credit, I will get into the Georgia part. I will stay. I will stay in Florida. Let's move forward to Georgia. In the case of Georgia, Donald Trump loses the battle or the strategy to get rid of the, the, the current DA there so she doesn't oversee the case. The broadest issue about her and her relationship with this guy and so forth, and it has become a problem. It has become a serious problem, you know? And so the judge said, no, the woman will be on top of the case, even though she had an affair with uh, uh, the prosecutor. The only thing they're saying now is her boyfriend cannot be the prosecutor. They should get a different prosecutor. So that's why we're saying we're saying here that Donald Trump did not win. It's not a win-win for Donald Trump in that case. Let's be let's be fair. No, but why you don't talk about the charges that are already dropped in Georgia? Because you get that why I say you gave him partial story when it comes. No, to but the most important were, charge. First of all, both of them lie on an oath, which is perjury. They lie. They never knew, they no. They never knew that the Trump defense they got in the court geolocator. She lied that they never had a sexual relationship going on prior to the kids. When in fact they met more than thirty-five times with more than 10,000 text messages where they would agree to even have sex in her car garage. When the Trump defense team dropped that, 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 that bomb, that's what, dis that, that's what dismantled the entire case. So but when the judge said, no, no, bro, let me come, let me finish. You always give me partial story. <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you didn't give your audience that. Okay, she go ahead. They, commit, they both committed perjury. So the lawyer is saying that since you hired your boyfriend, who is not even qualified to prosecute, a complicated case like a RICO charge, what we will do, you got to eat, he either got to drop from the case or we can disqualify you. And I think she will go with the idea of disqualifying. But the logic here is if most of the charges are already dropped, even if you pursue the case, I told you it's hard to accuse someone of a crime that never committed a crime. That case is nothing more than election interference, and Donald Trump will pass through all the cases untouched, whether it's the one in DC, whether it's the one in New York, whether it's the one in I told you more than weeks ago that that particular case in Georgia is more of a political case than someone committing a crime. They see where we are January 6th insurrection. All of them will die natural death single handedly. And you see that happening already with Georgia. I told you okay. months ago. So we're well, just well, waiting. Well, Mark, thank you so much. But, but before we get into the, you, you know, folks, we always say on SKTV, you know, sometimes you can be getting there. Let me tell you something. Your BB lawyer, then, your, they can be doing funny, funny thing. Eh? Let me tell you today. That thing for that natural thing for human being. So, but, but my, my, my only concern is what does their sexual relationship have to do with the case? That's conflict of interest. Conflict that of interest is, no, you cannot be. Let, yeah, Steve, let me let me let me come let me come in there more if you you don't mind. So, what the sexual relationship has to do with the case is that she they, she's accused of because of their relationship relationship with the guy they inflicted the pay for him. So that yes. she and the guy can go for vacation uh -huh. and use the money, money the way the way they want to, and also her influence on the guy as you know when they have that kind of relationship is will be way more than or not on somebody or neutral person that's no you know sexual relationship with them. But mostly the financial aspect was that was the concern. In fact, they're accusing her that the money that they they they, they use. Federal funds. Vacation. <laughs> that one was inserted. That got that pay was inflicted so that she too can benefit from a financial oh, so they can they can go, you know, and have fun with the people. Oh, man. Man, simple, man. You can't get on my back, man. <laughs> what, what, what? I mean, I kinda, I agree you can't get on my back, dude. The woman, the woman is a DA. He paid him the sex. No, no, I'm not here to add to what I know. Well, let's see. Listen, I'm not in defense of the lady or her sexual affairs or whatever it is. From a professional and ethical standpoint, it is unacceptable. It is not the right thing to do. Whether whether it is a Donald Trump case or whatever it is, that's why we want to announce to our people, when you go to work, don't be loving to your boss there. Don't be loving to people at your job. 
You'll start going in the bathroom and other places and be doing funny, funny things. But that's a side point. Let's get to the politics here. So that one knows the But yeah. she's back on the job. <laughs> she's back on the job. She'll fire her boyfriend. They will not be meeting the car again. They gotta, you know, they gotta get a room or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that's a side point. Let's get to the issue and the politics of the day, right? <laughs> Let's get to the issue and the politics of the day. So, 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 so Steve, if, what if happened, all of these the dream of him? He said they're trying to connect, but they can't make it with the trying to face things because you know that. He, he, did he say the, 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 the internet still giving them problem? Yeah, he said they're trying to face things, but it's not easy. All right, let me let me let me try to get to me one for a second. Yeah, I'll, yes. I'll be, I'll, I'll be so, right back. So, in other news today, uh, it, our president, former president George Manuel Wea, he looked like he was also today to, to see this. He played a bouncing around. Um, uh, Jefferson Kodi were jumping around also. Um, all the other people were passing around and making noise in the town. In fact, they not get into the negging all the men's behaving. Yesterday, we didn't see them bouncing around. So, um, Mark, what say you today? I listened to part of you know, part of the things that they were talking, whatever it is. I just I was just sick to my stomach, the level of hypocrisy, the level of deception, the level of delusion, the level of confusion, perplexity, in, in the, the, just the audacity to want to talk about, you know, better Liberia and doing what is right. You've you been out of office barely two months. All of this foolishness that we're seeing going on, we told you guys. And, and, and it just seemed like a circuit. It seemed like a recycle. It seems like a beautiful nonsense that we're in. What say you, Mo? For me, I listened to a portion of the Jefferson Koji stuff because it, it was almost two hours of video, and I keep skipping because we were all muya muya and people yet dancing and shouting, so I could barely make sense of it. But then at the very end, I listened to him speak. For me, my thing there was it was more of an open defiance and trying to, I don't know which phrase to use. It's almost like they are sending a message to the unity party led government. The most important thing here is the whole thing. I think they are they are kind of general about the assets recovery and tenure position. It's the only thing that CDC are concerned about right now. And that's the kind of a message. I, I never listen to people say we are spoke to him. I never listened to his speech or whatever he had to say, but I got a gist of what Jefferson Koji said. And I think that's just where it is. They are sending a message. And to the unity party people in Jose and Yuman Buaka, and we said everything on the show. You see. We always reference other media institutions when we see an article or news. But they will never give SKTV the credit that SKTV deserves. Because I tell you, whenever we have a show, you give it within 48 hours, a major topic we discuss in the show will either be on the radio or it will be in the newspaper in Liberia. Or some political leader will end up taking that particular story. I told you about the piece that the former ANC, or uh, 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 how do you call it, say, political leader wrote, Kwame Clement. About the constitution, you remember we talk about Article 59, 83 in the constitution, but the tenure position, and yes. why you the one came up with that idea that there was another provision in the constitution that gave the government or the legislature the opportunity to include other tenure positions apart from the three that were specified in mm -hmm. the constitution. Kwame Clement spoke about that. I said, but this is what Steve were, were talking about on the show. And we talk about the whole thing about Joseph Boga doing things the right way. In as much that we want to recover stolen assets, you don't want to make the thing to look like a wish hunt. You want to be open and transparent, even if it entails bringing international partner to help in the process and then take the hands-free approach. Because CDC and the Jefferson Coaching, that's the message they're trying to send out there, that you should send police officers and military all over the country because they will not allow certain things and stuff. Our like, this is getting scarier by the day. And it was the same thing SKTV talk about that do it the right way, go to the early city and that Cynthia group. Look, I don't know how powerful that group is or how recognized they are, but those kids were very strategic as to pointing the constitution and that the act of the LNCC and they were 100% spot on. And we talk about that, the Cynthia CDC people are complaining about today. Tenure position, assets recovery because they believe Joseph Boaga people are about to run one of the biggest mocks, I mean Russia, on CDT in terms of people that help public offices and their properties, and that that's just how they see it. So he was sending a message to them. That's why I took from that. Well, Mark, you are you are you are you are correct, and and this is troubling. This is disturbing. You are you are correct on that front or on that note. Listen, all of them watch. All of them are watching. They are listening. Um, whether they give credit or not, that's fine. It, I mean, at the end of the day, we'll do what we got to do, right? But but I I I I, I believe in this context. Uh, whether it was CDC or whether it was another party or another person, I believe uh, 
the current government should do what is right, um, follow the proper channels, mechanisms put in place so that, again, this does not appear to be a witch hunt. I can understand maybe the president and other executive member, other leaders are trying to provide jobs or incentives for people who supported them or people who are in the corners or whatever it is. That, that They can do that. But when you come to this kind of sensitive national potential problematic issues, you want to handle it with caution and care. You definitely want to thread on, on, a, on a steep and careful path. You don't just want to do it loosely. And I think this is what's happening. Um, I think this is a witch hunt. And I add my voice to every other voice out there. This whole uh, asset recovery thing should be dissolved. It's a sham. It's a waste of time. It's not serious. It was not done the right way. And they still have the opportunity to, to do what is right. That, that That's my honest take on this. This is a bad thing that we're going to engage in. It's a witch hunt. And it's setting the stage for serious problem. So I would hope and pray that Joseph Yuman Boaka and his government would listen to do what is right, let them go through the proper channel. Nobody's stopping them from going. In fact, we embrace that, we want that. But we hope that it's done in a proper way so that it does not create confusion or chaos. Unnecessary noise. There's no need for it. You can go, you know, do the right thing and, and recover the assets that need to be recovered for the Liberian people. There's nothing wrong with it. Mr. Kane, any update? Uh, what's going on? Anything you have to say before we get into uh, hearing from you today as to where we are, because we want to also talk about the, 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 the 90 days deliverables that we started to talk on the other time. And today we are almost, well, today's the 15th. So that means mathematically speaking, Joseph Yuman Boyka has one month and 12 days. So basically that's 42 days for them to do this whole 90 days deliverables. <laughs> what say you, Mr. Kane? Yeah, first of all, I want to, you know, Talk about what you guys just discussed with regards to the CDC, you know, coming out and what they were saying. I was actually sleeping. One of our you know, guy, you know, sent it to me and wake me up and say, Steve, we gotta go listen. We gotta go listen. So I didn't got to listen to the whole thing, but I did listen to some of it. And it will interest you that CDC is in a defiant mood. And CDC is not just, you know, fighting Joseph Baca government, CDC trying to register her presence to be the viable you know, alternative opposition, you know, to any other opposition. In fact, they're trying to make it look like the two-party system is what Labra is all about. If it's not the, C the CDC, then it's the unity party. If it's not a unity party, then it's the CDC. Others are saying, you know, Liberian people, they voted for Joseph Boakai, let it enjoy, let it suffer. CDC is trying to say, you know what? No, even though the people are stupid, even though the people remove us, but we will still protect them. We will still want to allow we are the leaders. We are the ones that can provide alternatives, even though they just left power, even though they failed because of their failure. Other people got elected, but CDC is trying to position herself as the alternative to Joseph Nima Boka in the Unity Party. That even though we were just there, but we can do better than these guys. And we have said this before other political parties are not serious. They stay waiting, they stay one deliberate put to suffer. And when they suffer now, they will tire or got tired, they will, they will come back and then start looking for them. That's not going to happen. The people over there, you're always looking for somebody to fight for them. Even in their own stupidity, they will cause problems. They want you to be the one to say, okay, I'll fight for you, even though they cause the problem on themselves. It's like, you know, young kids, when they are with you, they go and cause problems somewhere, and somebody running behind and they will come and hop behind you. Even though they know they cause the problem, but they expect you to protect them. That's how politics looks like in Liberia. They care less about what they do. They care less about their action. But they all want to look, 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 look going out there looking for some kind of hero. And she is trying to position herself to be that hero for the people. Other than that, Steve, if Unity Party is really serious, Unity Party government, 
or asset recovery. Let us start with some of the things that we're hearing. The Minister of Information, Minister Pierre, say he said on, on one of the radio stations that one of the ministers, one of his colleagues called him and said that George Weir government appointed 700 people in the month of December. That was way after the election. If they can prove that, let us start from there. They said, he said his ministry has 419 employees. The time he left from there before, it's supposed to be around maybe 200 and change. Let us start from there. Before jumping into the whole asset recovery thing, you know, that's why I said it seems like Joseph Baga has no priorities. They got no sense of where to start from. They're just confusing everybody, confusing themselves, no priority, no even know where to start. And if you do like that, we're going to take him to be unserious. How will, you, how will you jump into asset recovery without even thinking about what you're going to recover with no term of reference? What are you recovering? First and foremost, start small, small. And the priority of Joseph Nima Boagai should be setting the stage for a functioning government. But you say appointing people, a lot of ministry and agency are not even working. Nobody that to sign document. Instead appointing people overnight, sending the names to the senator then to approve them overnight. At the same time, you're appointing your nephew, your family people to position it that they don't deserve to be on. How you want to get it straight? You want one economic crumb, but at the same time, you are appointing people then who went on camera and said they are killers. What kind of example are you setting? So, you know, Boga is confused. His people, you know, they are confused and they have confused a lot of people in Liberia. So now, CDC is trying to take advantage of the fact that these people, they seem not to know what they are doing. So we too, we'll just jump in the dirty water, let we all just play, let we all play. You, they will make it look like everything is bad about Joseph Jima and they are right because Joseph Jima people there, they don't know what they are doing. They don't even know where to start from. You have to have a priorities and you got to make sure you deal with these things in a systematic order so that people understand as to what you're doing. When you taking your life, you're taking your right, you're taking your left hand, you're putting your left waist, you're putting your left waist, everything just looking confusing, no sense of direction, appointing people to different, different positions, three people in one position, one person in two positions, deleting and hiding and subtracting, people, people going behind the president to go make their own appointment. At the same time, you're fighting with your vice president, your, your departed people, they want to make sure that Jeremiah, Jeremiah Kuhn is a nobody. And on the other hand, on the other hand, Prince Johnson and his party trying to make sure they can disassociate them themselves with the, from the Unity Party. Everything just going head to scatter. Everybody just confused, and that's because of lack of leadership on the part of President Joseph Nima Parker. He has to be precise. He has to be direct and mean what he says. Look at all the name, all, all the areas. See the message he appointed people for. You say you're appointing people to investigate the military wife them action and to get back to him. You oh, appointed yeah. people to investigate the situation in Cape Mount to get back to him. You're appointing people to you're going to make sure they audit the central bank and NSA and this one and that one. That they, they, they're doing 1,000 things at the same time no, with no result. So they are creating the avenue for CDC to present herself as a better alternative that they know better than these guys because Joseph Baker doesn't know where to start from. That's the well, problem. Mr. Kane, uh, let, me, let me agree with you on, on something that we said here before. But before I agree with you, I want to make this statement that I want to remind Liberians that one of the 
things that brought on the war in Liberia was not only tribalism, sectionalism, it was also about multi-party democracy because they only had two party systems. And so other people felt that they were left out and they had to either fall in line with the two parties or they would not be relevant or so forth. And I agree with you that gradually that's where we are slipping into again. We gotta be either CDC or United Party. And the truth of the matter is whether the CDC or the Unity Party, or none of them are better, none of them offer anything to change the lives of the people. Both parties are corrupt. Both parties have proven to be incompetent and inept, starting from their leaders. Both parties do not mean well for the Liberian people. I, I stand by that, and there is there are facts to substantiate. The CDC, whatever says there, what did they do? What did the CDC do? CDC gave us Joseph Boyka. The same way how uh, United Party gave us CDC. So it's just that like we're in a, a little circuit here wherein we're confusing ourselves and we're just like, we have no other option. We're in this little bubble. Everybody got to be forced to fall in line. But I also agree with you. We said this before that Mr. Mr. Elizana Cummings and other people cannot sit on the tosh line and allow these people to create a narrative. And, 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 and yes, that is the mindset of our people. They like people who can fight for them. The like people who can stand up for them. What are the liars? Who, what are the crooks? Who, what are the people who do not know, do not do the right thing for them? They gravitate towards these people. So you cannot be somewhere and just be quiet. And, 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 and Steve, let me just say this. Um, sure. Basically, when I mention opposition, not Mr. Comis in particular, others are there. Yeah. They are money eaters. They want Kumis to be the only person to talk or to tell them to talk before they can even go and say anything. Joria was out of the country. You heard Jefferson Koji on a daily basis attacking this government. Joria was out of the country and Joria said nothing. You saw Akala Gray attacking this government every day on issues. And they have no shame doing it, even though they were just there. But that's the nature of politics in Liberia. So now Kumis did, did not say anything. Kumis just lost his mom. What about other people? Yeah, that is that's why I said we don't have opposition in Liberia. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, yeah. Think that, uh, you want to say hey, it's just about Kumis. No, not just Kumis alone. What about other people that were surrounding Kumis every day, going to the office, Every day, they were like photo photo comics. When when you move, I move every day. Where are they now? Where the party chairman? You, you know where they are. They are struggling behind United Party, looking for jobs. Looking for jobs. <laughs> that was don't, don't want to be the one speaking because they yeah. feel like when I say something, that will kind of ruin my chances of getting a job. That will even you know somehow reduce my the the, the, the opportunity for me to. Yeah, be getting something on a monthly basis from this guy. They already in power. We gotta, you know, suck up to them. So whatever they do, whatever they say, we gotta, they stay there until they can lose hope to say, you know what, United Party people are not gonna, uh, you know, employ me. Not gonna get a job with them. United Party don't care about me. You know, the yeah, party, they they, up, they and then they will kind of, they will all another opposition because they are yeah. angry, so lose up because they didn't get what they wanted from the United Party. Now they would they would now project themselves now as opposition. Yeah, that's Segu. the problem. Segu, yes, the sir. point you just made, that's it, ready. You just sum up the entire discussion, and I can link it to that particular communication that came from the same John Molu. I look at that handwriting. I look at the content and the style of writing. I was like, it was John Molu that wrote this thing, but he still got hope that the Bwaka people can stay going. So he said, you know what? He put it out there, and I like it never came from me. But I been, I went on here. I look at some of the past right there. Like you know what? I see some kind of a similarity here. The kind of a technolo technological terminology he used in terms of accountability. No, this can only come from John Mulu. I'm not saying he's the only person that read it, but most likely he was the one that wrote that thing. But it seems you said everybody's hoping for job. So even when they believe in something, they have to they have to distance themselves. When they, they got to play safe. I still got hope until they can finally give up hope before they can be created. Yeah. That's why it is, man. You get it, man. Yeah, but Mr. Kane, Mr. Kane, you, you like I said, 
to this conversation, I haven't disagreed with you and Monk on any issues, on any issue, I mean, so far. And, and I think it even goes deeper than that, that these are the, the serious problematic people. The people who, like United Party and Joseph Baca and President Joe Weir, they are not the, they are not the problem people. The people who know the truth, but who sitting there so that once they get a job, then they're quiet. When they, once they are employed or they are still sucking up to their friend, man, right now they're not avocado. They're not, they're not, they're not seeing the ills in society. Right now, everything seems to be rosary, too early for you to talk. And some of them even going as far as honor, trying to undermine us and fight us in public because they won't be on record that they're standing for what is right. So as they don't get what is it, and that's why when they come here with a two-faced, funny, funny behavior, me, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't miss my words when I when I have to address them. I call them out and we keep it moving because we're not gonna fall into your sycophantic way of doing things because you want to get a job. But here's a question for you and you and Monk. Here's a question for you and Monk. Uh, I know there's a lot of things going on, but but I want to I want to ask both of you. Um, I know the documents that we saw or that we have in our possession about the 90 days deliverables. How feasible, <laughs> how doable, um, how realistic, how possible can these so-called 90 day deliverables be done to benefit the Liberian people? And if not so, where are we as a nation? Because every nation, when the president takes over, the first 90 day determines whether you'll be successful or not. The way, especially the way you conduct, the, keeping your promise, your words to the people in the first 90 days. Let's forget about what it will do uh, uh, 100 days, I mean. Let's forget about what it will do later on. But just the first 100 days or 90 days or however you want to turn it out. What say you guys? Um, let me, Mom, when we to go, you want to go? Either way, if you want to go, Fred, you can go. Go ahead, mm -hmm. go ahead, go ahead. Steve, I told you from day one, this whole 100 days delivery, the first 100 days, is is is, is, is a foregone conclusion. Look, let it, for me, I'm a numbers guy. I believe in numbers. And numbers can give you trend. Numbers is the universal language everywhere on this planet. People can speak Chinese, you speak Russian, you speak English. At the end of the day, numbers speak one universal language. I told you, if this man is going to struggle up to 40 days to form his own administration, you see, the reason you have something they call a transitional team in place so that you already got your plans, you already have your goals, your ambition in terms of policy. There are certain strategic positions in government that an incoming administration will first get those people named on the list. That the group, when, whenever you hear in policy, they say, hit the ground running on day one, it means they got people who are already waiting to start the work. In the case of Joseph Burger, he couldn't even get a team to hit the ground running for day one. It's still confusing up to 40 plus days. And you want to tell me that Braga will be able to deliver on 12 major issues. Because we got a document, I told you, on the exact 100th day of the administration, we'll go through them one by one and we'll get Joseph Braga his grade. So for me, I know it's already a failure. It's just a matter of time to confirm it, but we could tell from day one. You see, they say when you can get one, you cannot get three. When you cannot get three, you cannot get five. Judah Baka cannot give me three, and you want me to believe that within 100, they're going to give me five. I know it's it's a it's there on the rival. It's not going to work. Nothing's going to work. It just will be mixed reaction here and there. So I'm already done that 100 day proposal. I'm only keeping the documents so that when that day comes, like we promise on SKTV to our audience, we will just give them one by one and check mark them based on the performance. But I know that 100 day thing is, is a full gone conclusion. It's dead in the rival. Baka was never ready for this job. He's acting like he was never ready for this job. Like, he was not sure. That how it seemed to me for a man who been in, in the system for all the years. It seemed like he was never ready for this thing because of the way he operates. That, that's that's my interpretation, though. Okay, Mr. Okay, I will say you because we the, the hundred or ninety. Let me let me, let me let me let me say this, and I'm going to be very 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 emphatic about this. Joseph Bwagai does not know what's going on. <laughs> Joseph Bwagai is not well. Joseph Bwagai is not focused. Joseph Bwagai is being managed by people that don't know what they are doing. And because of that, they don't want to see anybody who is capable, who knows something, who can move things around, who can overshadow them around them. And that's the reason why the likes of Moliba, uh, John Molu and a lot of competent 
and actionable leaders around the world, Liberians, they will not reach out to. They got a lot of competent Liberians that know exactly what they are doing, that could help them hit the ground running on day one. But no, they don't want that because those sycophants and confused characters around him, they are making decisions. They don't want any level-headed person around there within that mess that will overshadow them. Joseph Parker is not making decisions. Joseph Parker is just there, just as a matter. The people, they make the decision, they bring it to him to sign it, they will make this decision, they will tell him, this is the, this is it. In fact, even for Joseph Parker to go out to go do something, Joseph Parker does not give his own idea. They will write some stuff. That's what Joe Biden can see himself in all the mistakes and all the problems because he's not doing it. The man is not well. The man is not thinking right. The man is not even focused. He doesn't have the capacity, the ability to consciously make decisions. No, he doesn't. That's the problem. That's why up to today's date, Steve, those who support Joseph Nimapuaka, their hatred against SKTV up to where we are because we were the only platform that shone light continuously, consistently on the fact that Joseph Parker was not okay. And they said even if the man is in the grave, they will still support him. Now, the consequences of their action now is coming back to bite them. But they don't want people to talk about that. They don't want people to know that. Who told you Joe know what's going on? He doesn't. And those guys who are doing it, especially his son, who is now leading Joseph Nima Pwakai, he has no idea. He doesn't understand anything. That's why he's making all kinds of mistakes. Not only bringing friends to position, but going to Lebanese people, going to all these people, then taking money from them, doing this, doing that. They just want to enrich themselves before Joseph Bwagai time expires. And the thing about that, they are doing it in a rush. For them to have given people the, the opportunity, people who know what they are doing, people with the right expertise and the technical know-how, people with governmental experience, that know how to move things around. They are afraid of bringing those people closer because they know Joseph Baga is not the one making a the decision. They know Joseph Baga doesn't understand what's going on. So they don't want the public to know exactly what is going on within their inner cycle. If you bring other people in that know what they are doing, that, they, or that understand exactly how government works, that will somehow expose the weakness of Joseph Jim So they want to keep it in though. Where in Jay Kabakoli, Joseph Parker Jr., and now Sylvester Grisby, who they don't trust so much. That's why the vice president is being out of the loop. He doesn't even know what's going on. Decisions are made, he can just see it. So the point here I'm trying to make is that we have a president by name. We have a president by Petro. But we do not have a president who is actually the president running the country. That's the problem. Because his health condition is not correct. And you know when you say Steve, even when you are there full-headed, it impact, it impede your judgment. They impact and impede your decision making, even when your eyes hurting. Look at this. Look at this man. Does, does he even know the clothes to put on him? They will just go by, peep, 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 go through the put on the man. <laughs> so the pants look like a skirt. Yeah, yeah. And they put some 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 big coat on the man. The hand come all the way here, all the way here. He might not even know what's going on. So they're just using him. Using him as a scapegoat 
to get where they want to get. You're using him, and that, and that was the motive of the election. That was the motive. I was just about to say, let's say, well, you guys reading my mind today. <laughs> yeah. So they, they didn't want anybody who knows what's going on to be, you know, the president. They wanted somebody that they can use to exploit the country. And just about that's exactly what's going on. Just about it. We blame Joseph Baga for everything. I can tell you, Joseph Baga does not know what's going on, and he's not well. Joseph Baga worry about his health. The only thing they told him say, "Papi, you'll be there. We will do the job for you." That's the reason why even the appointments he's not making it. That's why he asked those yes. those leadership to the people in the Senate. Yeah. Where in the world have you seen a president empowering senators to make the appointment for make him? appointment for him when they are the one that's will confirm those see when they are the one that's will be confirming. <laughs> you think about that. This has nothing to do with politics. It has nothing to do with who won the election, who did not win the election. But we are just being honest with you to tell you the fact as to what is really going on. What's going on? Do the poor guy does not know what is going on. And we want to have a rescue team that they were going to be the one even doing the campaigning. So they knew before the election, it was the Labrain people that fell for the scheme. And at, so to some extent, I don't think it's a scheme because they themselves were aware. They saw these potential rigs and they decided to vote for Joseph Baca. So don't and, complain and, about and, the result. And, and, and the reason why, Monk, <laughs> they are trying to stop everybody to get to certain proximity with the president because they don't want those Things that we are talking about to be exposed. For example, if, more about more, if uh, 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 John Molu was there, right? And John Molu understand these things, he will run him off. He will talk about it. The problem about Liberia, and I'm sorry to say this, the good people are not respected. The good people are not given chance. Especially when you are poor, especially when you are clean, especially when you are not dirty. In Liberia, we love criminals. We love killers. We love dirty people. We love people in that we just imagine if not if not Liberia. Do you think CDC will have had the audacity at this point? In our political history, the people that just fail, not only fail, but they bow their head in shame. The president conceding even before the announcement for neck. People that don't even know what's going on. The Jawia knew what was going on. Jawia was a leader. Jawia will be president today. Now, Joe, we are in the CDC coming to tell you, say, yeah. you do that, you want to do that. Because you prove it to the point and say, you are a bunch of non entities yeah. that don't understand politics, that don't understand governance. Where in the world CDC will have the, the even the face to come and talk about politics, to teach you, to tell you yeah. what is right, what, what you're supposed to, what you're not supposed to do? What you supposed to do yeah. You're proving to them that you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> That's the problem, Monk. Yeah. The, lab the Labrain people thought that the best way to get rid of Georgia after his incompetent, his display of incompetence was Joseph Baca. Now, sedition believe that Joseph Baca has shown that he's he worse off than we are thinking that the, the Labrain people will come back to them. Look, it's it's why it's all about everybody want to explore the vulnerability in terms of leadership. The people who know better, that's why I told you, one guy told me and said the, diff, the problem with Labrain is you cannot separate the educated from the uneducated because the people who you claim to know better, they can think the people that aren't even educated. This was why this election was all about look at the candidates that are most vulnerable so we can take advantage of. The Baca people did it at the detriment of the country. Sedition did it at the detriment of the country. So that's why we find ourselves. Well, you have Steve talking about what comings and other political don't talk like, you know, Steve, I cannot remember the last time Joseph Baca advocating for anybody like bro. Yeah, when no, we was when we were doing the save the state program, we were talking about the auditor there. When last Joseph Baga released an official statement on things happening in the country, but yet they voted for him. It's not about how high you work. Monk, Monk <laughs> to agree with you 100 percent You know what Joseph Baga said on all the things that were going on? Is you know, there's time to talk. 
there's time to sit and watch and there's watch. time to talk. And that particular time to talk never came. Came. <laughs> well, well, you um, never saw the black guy talking on anything. And, and besides, one point I want to talk here, Steve, with regards to the support system, when I say there's no opposition in Liberia, I'm very serious about it and I mean it. Where is ANC youth? Where is Liberty Party youth? Where is ALP youth? Where is Kewon Gonglo Party's youth? Where is Sarah Beslo Party? Sarah Beslo got a job. Where are the youth? <laughs> Where is Monuba? The, all the crowd that used to be in behind Monuba, where are they? Oh, M Mr. Somebody, Mr. somebody will come for and get their money. Somebody will put them together for and get their money. There's no loyalty. There's no honesty. There's no truthfulness. All the other ones that all the that were following Komi, they all wanted money. I think he said they may get free money so they can come and exploit the man. Pretending to be his supporters to, to keep, just to hear his money. So when I say when I make reference, we have no opposition in Labura, I'm not I'm not even thinking about Komish. Komish should not be the one doing the, anything. Komish should be the one to, to, to be asked by the Labura position, you know what? Please, we need you. We mistake. But the where are those Labrian people? PDC coming out to say well, yeah, we are the alternative. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? <laughs> That'll be a joke. <laughs> <laughs> what a joke, yeah. man. What, what kind of country is this? Yeah, so Steve, I don't want, want to make that point. If if see, if Kumis, if people really believe in Kumis, if there is if there are if there's anybody, one or one person or two people or three or five, if there are people in Liberia that really believe in Elizabeth Kumis, they should be speaking right now. They should be speaking right now. All the money each other, all those lists of people that were announced, more than 50, more than 100 people on campaign team. Where are they? Where are they? When Jefferson was speaking, they're taking the stage. When they are now still in the show, people that were there yesterday that were removed because of their failure, because of the testament performance, they were removed by the black people. They say they were failed, they were corrupt. They are even telling you now, even though we were corrupt. Even though we stole from the Labrand people, but you are worse than us. So you can't do a job to us. If you try it, we'll make the country ungovernable for you. And you can't do your job about it. That's what they're telling you. Yep, that was a message. Imagine. Because Joseph Baca doesn't know what's going on. So they're taking advantage of that vulnerability, like, you know, mom said it. So, Mr. Kane, um, let me disagree with you guys on one instant or one situation or scenario this idea that we have to excuse joseph Boaga from this entire process i want to disagree with you guys joseph Boaga is as deceptive as lying as crooked and as problematic as the people that he brought around him or that are around him. Nobody used Joseph Waka. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be saying that. We should not be saying that it's, it's unfair. No, we said that with the leveraging. They Joseph said you man leveraging. Boy, <laughs> Joseph Uman, nobody leveraging. Joseph Human Boaka knows exactly what's going on. He's part of exactly what's going on. He enabled what's going on. He he's he wants what's going on to happen. If Joseph Human Boaka had health issue and his children were still passing around making excuses for him and his wife were giving him gum and other things, I don't want us to make excuses, me personally, for Joseph Human Boaka that he's sick, he doesn't know what's going on, and you know, the pape, the leveraging, the whatever. The pape is as deceptive as the devil from hell. That old man is not ready to do what is right, he is not ready to say what is right, he is part of the system. And this is exactly what he wanted. Joseph Baca had opportunity to walk away from this thing. Joseph Baca wanted to be president. Joseph Baca's life, he lived to be president. 
So when we are having this conversation, he needs to take full responsibility, 100%. If anything happens today in that country, Joseph Barra will be held accountable. And I know about it. We're not saying that he found a minister. We're not saying that they won't. We're not saying that our people, because they can have the conversation behind closed door. So everything that's going on, and Joseph Baga, you guys said it on the show, yeah? Soon Joseph Baga won the election, he started running around that he held it. He okay, he didn't want he that one. That's who he is by nature. He's not going to change. He is not. And I agree with you guys that, you know, other people, other political parties, youth wing and elaborate people should decide what they want, should decide a path. But I also want to congratulate the, the CDC. I think the CDC is right on course. I think the CDC is doing exactly what people need to do in politics. And I think the CDC should continue on this trajectory to ensure that they are doing what is right. So, so, so are you saying, are you saying that um, um, it will be okay and Labra will be better off, will be better off have CDC in power again? Oh, Mr. Kana, let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. And let me be clear on the record on this particular one. Anything the Labyrinth will want will support it. You're here today. They won't bring CDC back and bring CDC back. I could care less. That's why I'm not emotional about who they kill, who gets killed, whatever happened. I could care less. That's my business. That's my business. Election have consequences. I could care less about who steals, who want to be stealing, who want to be criminal, who want to do what. I could care less. I'm not saying Labro will be better on our CDC. God forbid I will say that. The day I ever say Labro will be better on our CDC, that day I'm losing my mind. The day I say Labro will be better on our United Party, I am losing my mind. I've seen both parties, how they rule. I've seen how, they, how the leaders carry themselves and how they govern. So there is nothing good that can come from both parties. But I'm saying if the Labro poor bring them back to power, oh, I will solely welcome them and I will work with them. And anything that happens, I will do it's something. Steve. Steve, I just got a call from Liberia. Sure, please. From a lady who got some information to share with us. Yeah. She was yeah, telling me I told her to wait on the line so we can uh, share with the public. Because this is not SPTV uh, saying it, but she's trying to give her information whether we have heard it. So I told her. Yeah, so uh, sister, what was your name again? Lucia. Lucia. Lucia, can you hear me? Lucia. Lucia Pahili. Yeah. So what was the information you were trying to share with us? Yeah, the information was that the information is that earlier today on radio in Lima County, um Senator Prince Johnson is calling on young people to come up in his defense so that he cannot be able to go to the war economic crime court just in case. Um, the, the, the president and the, the legislature approved it. I don't know whether you people got the information. So, which registration was, was, was on? It was, mean, uh, my question was well, on the line. She said she was listening to radio. In radio I think Radio Kakema or Voice of Gompa, one of those radio stations. Radio Kakema or Voice of Gompa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she, she so, so Prince Johnson was the one making an announcement, or the, some, somebody was making an announcement on, on his behalf? People were making the announcement on his behalf. And calling on young people of Lima to, to come out in his defense to be able to protect him. Wow. So, where are you calling from right now? Because I've seen LeBron number. Uh, so, anyway, you, you don't have to call your location, but are you in Lima or you're in. Um, all right please do that call me back okay okay so mr Connor, just before this just just before we react to what the sister said um mm. I just want to end my thought by saying this, that mm -hmm. we told the Labron people on here, we encouraged the Labron people, we begged the Labron people, we did everything humanly possible to ask the Labron people to reject anything CDC or Unity Party. We did that. 
more than once. We did it on our private pages. We did it on here. We were cussed, insulted, disrespected. We told them we will end up in chaos. Worst scenario, should we in should we bring back, should we elect President Weah, re-elect President Weah, or bring back the unity party? They never listen. Who am I? So I don't think that you, they, they, the CDC will be better if they should take power, but I will respect the will of the Labyrinth people, and I will support the will of the Labyrinth people. And in fact, when I sit on the platform and I see chaos in the country or whatever it is, guess what I can do? I can smile, and I can be happy. I won't is say it today. Chaos? Yes. Why? Because elections have consequences. When you make certain decisions, you get certain results. Look, success is not coincidental. People are choosing the best among themselves to move forward. You are reverting. And I suppose to cry over your dismay. I suppose to cry. I suppose to be sad. I suppose to be emotional because you decided that you will put yourself in this agony. You decided that you will put your children. You decided that you will put the nation into this foolishness. I suppose to be vest. No, I'm not vest. I am content. In fact, in fact, that's why I can predict on my page that there will be even worse than this. So let's get to the point of the issue. So, um, so, so, <laughs> so, laughing. All, all laughing you, know, you know, I, I saw somebody <laughs> saying that uh, Steve, Steve is more patriotic than Steve, than President Wong and Steve. <laughs> Simply because the person love when Steve said, you know, Joseph Bagai is responsible for everything going on and Joseph Bagai is now being used. Uh, let me say this to you guys. Um, Joseph Bagai, we are not saying that Joseph Bagai is not responsible. Joseph Bagai is the president. Anything happened, Joseph Bagai will be held accountable and responsible for everything. However, we are saying some of the reasons that we are seeing what we are seeing right now, some of the reasons why things are going the way they are going is because of the fact that the LeBron people elected somebody who was and still is not ready to run the country, who does not understand about the challenges we face as a country. Somebody who does not have the needed energy and stamina and understanding of contemporary politics, how things going right now, who does not even understand the trend of events who does not even understand social media? Who does not know how to use computer? Who does not know how to use a smartphone? Somebody who is being managed. Yes, you have the right to blame him because he allowed himself to be there thinking that he's doing it to benefit himself financially, as well as his legacy. He wants to have himself in history as president. He wants his family to benefit so that when he's not, there is no more, they will not be poor again. They can be rich. But the reason why things are going the way they are going because he doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know how to do it. His ambition to be president, that's real. His ambition to lead the country so that his family can enjoy afterward, that is real. But that's not the point. The point is, Joseph Nima Bwakai is not okay have why it's not okay 
when it comes to decision making, because when you are now well, the first thing that can come to your mind, you want to pray to God to be okay, to be well. The second thing that comes to your mind, am I going to die? Or am I going to say, am I going to be you know, in survive? What is going on? What happened you know, if I die? Those are, those are things that are going to be your worries. The other worldly things, the other things that are happening around the world with other people's lives in the country, that's not even your worry. Now, people around here today that told him that don't worry about your health. We will do it for you. We will help you do it. You just like they told him, don't worry about campaigning, JMB. You don't have to do anything. The people love you. We will do the campaigning. The people will vote for you. Those are the people that are making the decision for him. And unfortunately, they don't know what they are doing. <laughs> That's the <laughs> problem. You know, the Joseph guy believed that, yes, I got the popularity. I want to win. I want to enjoy the immunity as president. I want to get the best of my life before I die. I want to leave something for my family. I want my son to be rich before I die. I want my, my nephew, my people, them, when I'm not here, they can be able to, you know, take care of themselves. Okay, the lady's calling back. Hello? Okay, so no problem. When you get more information, you know, you can, you can call us. So tomorrow morning, I will, I will get the, the one. I will get everything from the radio station, and maybe I will call you so you can listen to the show with you yourself. No problem. Okay, okay, so good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So that person is calling from Liberia. Um, But, you know, wow, this thing is not news. It's not news. We said it. <laughs> Especially when it comes to SKTV. We inform you here that Prince Johnson and others were having conversation. That's one. We told you that Prince Johnson was involved in recruitment in Nima County. Not only that, Prince Johnson himself went on the radio and said, we will not stay back for you to come and arrest us. We are having consultative meeting. Generals. In fact, he said, Nima has the most or the largest number of ex combatant former rebel and former general. Prince Johnson said that on radio. So to hear that Prince Johnson is recruiting, calling on them, it's not news. We heard it, we reported it. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just, like, just, just like the whole idea of GNB 100 day promises and this and that. Deliverables. <laughs> Deliverable, whatever that is. Whether or not he's going to succeed, they may already fail. But that's not a, that's not a problem. So what? They may feel what's going to happen. Nothing. Nothing. That's Liberia right there. You don't have to do what is right. You don't have to fulfill your promises. You don't have to be good. You don't have to be honest. Don't say something. Those who love you will love you. And, and even if you fail, those who love you will still support you. They don't care. Even if you are a killer, they don't care. Even if you are someone who just don't know what's going on, but so long they are supporting you, they care less. What about those that don't, that don't support you? They too, they care less. 
So Labra is just a sick country. We have a lot of sick people giving, you know, you saw one of them saying just now, even if Jerusalem was here today, we'll vote for GNB again. Giving a, even knowing that GNB is already failing. GNB cannot even organize or form a government after being elected for two months, three months. GNB was elected since November. You couldn't form a government. You took power in January. We are in March now. You stay struggling to form a government. Then you say, even if the men would, you can vote for the men 1,000 times. They're not my business. <laughs> like, who cares? <laughs> the thing, it, it wouldn't prove to the, the world. <laughs> it wouldn't prove to the world that you are a bunch of, you know, non scored people that, that have no sense of orientation, no sense of direction. They don't know what's what happening. All they want, they are just engulfed in this idea of tribalism, nepotism, you know, this whole idea of country solidarity or travel, you know, solidarity, you are so engulfed into those things to the extent that you, you have lost your sense of reasoning, your sense of understanding. So all you want, you think that when you make those comments, you're going to make somebody mad. No. It doesn't hurt me. Even Jita Jodabaka Jr. today making president, it doesn't hurt me. It hurt the country. We are speaking because we don't want to see the country being hurt. It doesn't mean you should not do it. You have the right to be stupid. You have the right to be intelligent. You have the right to do the right thing. You have the right to do the wrong thing and live with the consequences. Yeah, everything is about choice. <laughs> you, see, yeah. you, see, you see the thing? We have no right to stop you from being stupid. If you are stupid, that, 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 that's how you are. That's who you are. And you try to revive yourself, try to come back to make yourself like a good human being. That's who you are. Our job is to tell the people the truth. The reason why some of you hate us, you don't want to listen to us, you don't want to hear us because we are exposing your limitation. We are exposing the failure of your choice. We are exposing the fact that you have no priority. You have no love for country. You're all consumed in your tribalism, nepotism, and those, you know, country solidarity. No love for country. And we will do our part. Show that like, bring people can be something like we just did. We reported about what's happening, what's going on in Nima County a long time ago. Some of you were saying that they're not true. Yeah, <laughs> they always say that. <laughs> you're not true. You're like you're lying. You're mm -hmm. taking opinion. Just somebody just called for all from Liberia. That now radio stations now in Nima County now talking about it. Mm -hmm. Which is now a news to us here. We have said it a long time ago. So, Monk, you know, what do you make of the fact that some of these people that they will not just get tired, praise singing, and attacking people, defending their own wrongdoing, and thinking that they are making people mad? I mean, what, what do you make of these people, man? It's a society that we find ourselves with a generation of voters that we will have to deal with for a very long time. And every day I say on the show, when people say, like, bro, make progress, I keep asking, tell me or show me how. Because there is no indicator or indication that proves that, like, bro, will be better. If the people of Nima can look at the well being or the welfare of the country just to protect a single male Prince Johnson that has no value to that society, what it says about the country. And they the second larger block of voters in the entire country also our most radical count. We said this thing, Prince Jones is a military tactician. He can send coded message or messages. He sent cryptic messages to people. And that's exactly what we predicted on this platform, that he will yeah. resort to something like that. He said it and that's exactly what's happening. So the people who still want to play defense, I think it's a psychological game that they play. They are guilty of their own action and they don't just want to accept the fact to say yeah. that we were wrong. So they got to keep playing different. But even though they know that they are still doing it wrong, they have to do it because there is no option for them. We said it on the show. These two parties were never an option for Labra. If the Labra people really wanted to make progress, whether it was the Unity Party or the CDC, were never the option because you were getting one of the two. Either way, you go, they are the same players 
on two different things. And every day you see that happening. Look, Seku, when you go to the 100-day delivery board, right? They get up 12. Let me just say something just on unfriending corruption in the first 100 day. It said, the Jota Burger government will commission a comprehensive audit across all MACs. I guess it's ministry, agencies, and corporation, MAC. But they never specify the, the acronym, the Japanese MACs. They will conduct a forensic audit across government, beginning with the Ministry of Finance, Development, and Planning and the CBL. Introduce fiscal rule and travel ordinances, commission an audit of budget allocation and implementation, review of income and expenditure across all ministry agencies and corporations. Ensure effective strengthening of anti-corruption institutions. Can you imagine the same man is trying to honor money LACC? Yeah, they tell you that in your first one that day he will he will strengthen anti-corruption institution. He will review of HR personnel hiring process across all ministry, whether it's payroll, civil service, salary disparity, overstaffing, and salary arrears. The transfer of existing payroll management system. Can you imagine that just one out of twelve? And you want to tell our people <laughs> that you will be able to implement this thing on a hundred day? I mean, come on, man. Circle. The elections are over. That one, they are right on that. They are right in that aspect that the elections are over. We are not going to talk about the election. And Steve said it right. That's why I tell Steve, I say, sometimes you come to the yourself on the issue of opposition making the case. The, the people must live with the consequence of that decision. I know in Labra, when they are ready to vote for president, they can tell you, they can give you an indication that, that you, they want. Whether it's Comis or the Taiwan Gongos of the world, they will not talk. Let those people live with the consequences. When it's time to talk, they will talk. They can use surrogate. But I believe if those people are really serious to make progress, you will see it from their action. You will hear it in the, on the radio. You will hear it in the public transport. You will hear it at every street corner. Let them live with what they voted for because the one is for there and they cautiously decided to make those choices. So what can you do? There's nothing you can do. Look, I tell people, comments never got skip over because he never implemented strategy to make him president he was never short on message he picked the best the best vice president presidential pick i think it was i mean he, he was that was available to pick she's young she was educated she was vibrant it was the people that decided and said no we don't want a guy like you we want a criminal we want a warmonger we want people with deadly parts in this country that's how our people vote in Liberia. so it's not about the message it's not about the, the communication style of the kennedy it's not about his vision for the country no you said it right sectarianism people believe that my party or my political leader is greater than the outcome of the country or what the country tends to 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 inherit that's why it's all about and you hold a leg of Jefferson Koji this morning talking. You just got another call from somebody telling you about the event happening in Nima County. So if you're a political leader, how do you address the kind of a concern? Because the voters themselves are criminal in nature because they are deceptive. When you have a deceptive electorate, that's why it's almost like a game. It's almost like you go to the casino. The criminal who's supposed to run the government, the people who vote, in will we'll see who will get who. And you know, when, 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 when you can deceive other candidates and you vote for me, I will teach you what deception is. That's why the people are getting in return. You vote for this, this is what you will get. So it's a game. <laughs> Once you don't fit that money, you, you don't stand a chance of winning the presidency in Liberia. Yeah, so um, I, I couldn't agree more uh, with you. Uh, we The lines are open. People can call in. And, and I will be announcing my, my tell the audience, I guess, so they know, that today our, our, our offering basket is still open. We still got our Ramadan to go. We we how many days into the into the into the prayer? Oh, that one but today, I think today the, the fourth day, but today is day number four. No, but, but today, today, today is my Friday. last day. Today is Friday, and Friday is not part of our regular Seku fast month, it's different from our regular traditional stand-up practice there when it comes to FKTV in terms of support yet because we know we will be back on the radio and the internet will be restoring like Bureau. So please don't forget your obligation. Today is Friday and not only Friday, but the middle of the month as well. You know, we only got four weeks in the month and we exactly day 15 of the new month. So to our regular supporters, the new supporters, I mean, let, 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 let's do this thing, please. We will be, we will be doing it now like a, like a rally now. We will be marching contributions. Sometimes we tell us, say, we need at least, we'll call it the way the pastor can do in the church. We need 200 people to give at least 20 bucks each. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm hoping well, for our people. We'll remind them before the end of the show to contribute. We'll keep at least three times on the show before we can leave the radio off. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Call him. What is your name and where you call him from? 763 number. Good evening. My name is Joe and I call you from Minneapolis. Joe, go ahead. Yeah. Joe, 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 your, your voice going in and out. You got you to gotta be stable. Hello, you me? I don't know what you're doing on your phone. Hello, you got me? Yeah, much better. Yeah. I see these guys are joking. This a brother is not one to run. He can't want a brother, a, a brother and sister and a Steve on our country. When North come out, then they can go sit down in Sierra Leone or go to other country for them to sit down there. Pray just you will never take that to your sanity. And some of our friends I'm calling for are saying the same thing over and over that Pray Josie and Gary men as combatants. You already have the money. Do you know how many local guys like blow away when you call and say, Come on, father, that I go try the other party to ruin your fear? We just pray that Joseph Parker go up on this country as well. Or if you can make it, then you call the international community so they can take it and walk our country. That's what I gotta say. Oh, thank you. Hmm. So, um, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 so, 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 you know, let me tell you this. I notice that most of the people. Most of the people that attack SKTV, go against SKTV, among, it will amuse you that the bitterness in them, that they can't get over it up to this point, is the fact that SKTV smoked Joseph Mabaka out when they were lying the whole time that the mail was okay. That reporting that we did to expose their lies, their deception that Joseph Mabaga was in, Rhode Island was in the hospital, it's still hurting them. Because of that, they're going around saying that SKTV said Joseph Mabaga was going to die. <laughs> Can you imagine how deceptive these people are? That's why, personally, I got no respect for some of these morons. I got no respect for them, to be honest with you. I believe that they just did nobody, they're nothing. They are just a bunch of beheaded chickens with no sense of direction. And they are a bunch of tribalists. That they, they so in, the tribalists is so in their blood to the extent that they can't just get over it. When Joseph Nima Bwagai was smoked out, they didn't like that because it came to a point where Jeremiah Kuhn almost took over. They wanted to do that thing behind the scene so that nobody would know what's going on. But because we exposed that, that's the hate. And that's why they continue to carry lies and, and propaganda against SKTV. Oh, SKTV, I can lie. And when Joseph Baker himself came and admitted and said the same thing we said, that means, in other words, they are saying that Joseph Nima Baka is a liar. They are agreeing with things that people have been saying that Joseph Baka is a this very deceptive woman. That's what they believe now. Because if you're saying SKTV is lying, whatever SKTV said, Joseph Baka came and said the same thing. Joseph Baka came and vindicated SKTV that, yes, I was not well. I went to Rhode Island. For medical reason. And you were saying that's not true. You were saying Judah Baga was just coming to America just to come and say hi to people and tell them thank you. And Judah Baga was literally near, you know, Judah Baga could not even help himself. We all, oh, and you said Judah Baga would die. And you said Baga coming die. Say, maybe the Yupon, Yupon want the one that want Judah Baga to die. Maybe you people are the one that really, really want to see Joseph Walker die. We never say that. Nobody on SKTV have said that. Whether our personal pages or our own platform, we never mention Joseph Walker's death. And we never talk about, we never pray for him to die. We always, we always offer prayer for him. 
for him to be okay. But they're so angry for the fact that we exposed their lie. And you guys are liars. You guys are a bunch of deceptive people. You don't love Liberia. You all hate Liberia. You are just a bunch of egoistic people. All you want is your personal ego to promote your personal agenda for you and your family and care less about the rest of the country. Since that, that's the thing I can hear you all will continue to say. And up to this point, the reason why the country is going in the direction it's going right now because Joseph Baka is sick. He's not correct. Especially up there. His judgment being be impeded because he's not well. He's, he has outsourced his responsibility to his son, his nephew, and a bunch of shitty characters to do his job. He's just a picture. This bugger is just there just for the sake of being there, just a matter. If Steve doesn't believe that, but I believe that, I know. I know if Joseph Bagger was in his right element, Joseph Bagger was in a good state of mind, the way things are going, we never go like that. But Joseph Bagger is just there to sound document. You were doing the same thing, and God went and shamed you guys. If from the whole world, you said the man is sick, the man not sick, the man not correct, the man did, the man that, the man went and fell off, and fainted in from the whole world. You said, no, I'm not sick. That had never happened, at least in my life, that I'm not saying it anyway. Where a president is giving inaugural speech and went off. Up to now, that, that inaugural speech was never complete. So these people that can come on the platform to attack, to distract, you can do all your want. If the reason for your attack or hate for SKTV is because we're telling the truth, then you will really, really, really suffer. Because every day we come here, we will shine light on the flesh, we will say the truth, and we'll expose the lies and deception and the incompetence of Joseph Nima Boakai, inaptitude of Joseph Nima Boakai, surrounding himself with shady characters that don't know what they are doing, that are now plunging the country into a serious dilemma, we will continue to talk about it. If it hurt you, you don't have to come into SKTV. We will say it on our personal pages. We will say it on SKTV and elsewhere. Whenever we have the opportunity to say something, we will make sure we tell the labyrinth for the truth. If you don't like it, you have the right to do whatever you want to do. Well, Mr. Kane, um, you know, sometimes when other people, you monk and other people, you know, everybody got their own way they can approach things. And, you know, some people are grateful to you guys for the way you approach things. Some people get pissed off at some of us for the way we can approach things. But at the end of the day, we'll continue to approach it the way we see fit and the way it should be approached. I say this to say, Mr. Cannon, that you and Monk can try to make it look like Joseph Bagai got no responsibility, no part of- No, 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 no. Then, then that means you're misquoting us and you are misconstruing our position. But you, you know, Bagai, that that all the, let me tell you, everything that go back, Joseph Bagai is the president, he will take responsibility. But we know the reason why things are going, they are going because Joseph Baka doesn't even know what's going on. He, he doesn't have the capability, the mental capacity to make right decisions. That's what we are saying. So what we are telling you in our share, people who support, who support Joseph Jimmy Baka are the ones that put us in this problem, knowing the fact that Joseph Jimmy Baka is not capable of running the country. And now he has people around him who told him, go ahead and take it. We'll help you do it. And they are not doing it. At, at the end result, Labro suffer. That's the point we are making here. We okay. are not saying he's not responsible. But we're saying okay. that he, he, he's, the problem that he's facing right now is not lack of the fact he doesn't love the country, but he doesn't even know what's going on. He thinks he knows. 
But he doesn't know what's going on. Okay. Well, so so we're not saying he's not responsible. The fact, by the virtue of the fact that he's the president, anything that go wrong, whether he do it directly or indirectly, that is his responsibility. So I don't want you to say that we are saying that John Mbaka got no responsibility. We know we didn't say that, and we are not. That's not what we are saying. We're, the implication is that Joseph Mbaka does not know what's going on, and the people that he rely on, they too don't know what's going on. At the result, as a result of that, Labro suffer. Okay. Well, thank you for the clarity. Um, for me, you know, I have a different version and a different view. Joseph Baga knows what's going on. Joseph Baga is fully aware. Even when SKTV said here and the facts, Joseph Baga came and ascertained it, that Joseph Baga is not and everything. Joseph Baga people came and insulted. And up until today, like you said, some of them they hate they have to watch SKTV. It's because we said the truth that everything is well with Joseph Baga. And Joseph Baga himself wanted to prove us wrong. So he had to drag himself, they had to drag him from the hospital bed and carry him to go out of fit press conference because he wanted to prove that he wrong, that he is well. So guess what? Joseph Baga is all right. Joseph Baga is not sick. Joseph Baga is very, very well. He's alert and oriented. In fact, Joseph Baga, wanted to, Joseph Baga will hit the, 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 the trail or the governance running from day one. So, Mr. Kane, what you are saying, that one, a good for the intellectual, the political people, or whatever. But me and my Omar and my papa, then we know our president is well. We know our president is doing very. In fact, the president is the most healthy president ever in the history of Liberia. There's nothing wrong with him. The other part I wanted to address is this information coming from Nima Kante. And SKTV cannot 100% authenticated information. You got heard it from someone because I know some of you will over a reason to go in line. The SKTV reporter didn't know you heard somebody on the phone. Um, if this information is true, Mr. Kane, then that means Prince Johnson knows a lot more than the public is aware of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that means Prince Johnson knows how close this thing is to him now. That means Prince Johnson is quite aware of some sensitive information that some of you are not purview to. Today, we want to announce to the Labyrinth people and we want to reiterate to the Labyrinth people, those of you that are watching later on, whether you like Escape TV, you don't like SKTV. Whether you support us, you don't support us. Whether you watch us from far or you come closer and watch or and click on it and watch us, we have no reason to lie to you. We have no interest in lying on anybody. We have no interest in fighting anybody, going after anybody because at the end of the day, it does not take, it does not put food on our tables. It does not take anything away from us. And in fact, if we're lying about anything about anybody, it will even speak more of our characters and who we are on this platform. But because we have not been lying from day one, because we have not been evil from day one, because this is not our personal interest, that's why everything we say, most things we say, all things we say, it can take 10 years, five years, two months, three months, four months. We can come out to the same thing. <laughs> yeah. And even in your vestation with us, that's why you are glued to SKTV. When we don't come on, some of you can have sleepless nights. Yeah. Some of you who with us, you can have sleepless nights. Where, where? You complain to other people. Some of you even use studios to come be asking in SKTV, oh, you're not coming on today or whatever it is. Anything you hate for choo -choo -choo -choo, you don't pay attention to it. You don't even respond to it. You don't even go there. The fact that you are staying here writing is big volume of you. We love you, yeah? Yep. Supporting SKTV. Keep on being a fan. And just wow. a friendly reminder to our listening audience today, our, our Friday fundraiser, we, we got a target today. We, we, we're doing 20 for 20. That's less than two cup of coffee, and we need at least 20 people to contribute. 20 for 20 today is our start, and today is our target. So for our people who usually give above that, then maybe you reduce the number, but 
that that's our goal. We we'll lose at least twenty people to give us twenty bucks today. So, so Mon, Mon, uh, speaking of that, <laughs> keep updating I, it, please. I, I think when you when you uh, talked earlier, yeah, we have um, we have two people that actually uh, donated twenty twenty five dollars and twenty six dollars on okay. sale. Two people donated twenty five and twenty six dollars on sale, and then okay. uh, we got eighteen more left. Yeah, and then uh, on the cash app. Yeah, also one person, uh, the person say no name as a female, say uh, the first name is Annie, but they don't, they don't want to call the last name. That person also donated $25. So that three, we're just taking a 20 because it's just not far from 20. Yeah, so and then, and then uh, somebody just sent $30 to you just now. All right. All, all so somebody might have 30, but we're another 10, then a 40, then we, then, we, then we get six. So so you don't want to take, you, you should take your own, uh, how you call it? She take you, you should take the note now. You'll be announcing it to you. Yeah, you'll be announcing it. I'll be, and then, I'll and be then telling then how much the target. Yeah, then how much will be dollars. So that how much? Five or six? Six now, right? Yeah, one, two, three, almost six now. Yeah, six. So we level 14 more, please. We can do it before the end of the show, guys. 20 today. All right. 20 so, for so 20. I sent 25 dollars again on uh oh my god, that's on, seven on, year on yeah. yeah, we got 13 more, folks. 13 more. Let's do this, man. SKTV got a roll. Now you got call from Lima County and everywhere. We got our guys in Liberia and everywhere. So let's I, know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. But, so okay. as they come, I'll be announcing them. Yeah. We 13. We are 13 shy of the target. 13. Why, why, Mr. Kane, why are you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I sent $20 again uh, on, oh. on cash. Yeah, now, now we are 12 because we have additional outstanding $10. Somebody get 30. So. So we so, are now at okay, another twenty dollar on on there. Oh my God, eleven. My poor your way, y'all slow down. We are. I mean, I don't go slow down. Yeah, well, two. On the platform, we come down. Now, now we're ready. Where are you got eleven to go? <laughs> so, I mean, Steve, I know you come with the politics, but when you come to my 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 Kelly work, please let me let me let me update the group. And okay, the, okay you know what? You know what? Maybe Steve want to complete for the people. Then Steve, go ahead. No, the thing about it is, you know, um, while we are doing that, because we got to be having a conversation with the people. That's what I wanted to say, you know. Mm -hmm. And then second, second one, when there's update, he can, he can, we can, you can. Okay, us. okay, but no, but we, you know, monk, monk said we, sh we shouldn't, you know, hit the people, right? So as we go, yeah. we don't want to keep them up there. As well, we yeah. the forget about it. Yeah. So that was saying that you can, you can, you can. Let's say when we're having a conversation, then you can hold me and say, hey, you got an update. Okay. No okay. problem. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Exactly. You know, somebody said, you know, uh, Prince Masakwe said we should be celebrating Joseph Braga for the one economic crime score because he he has been, um, the issue has been politicized, both from Ellen, Joseph Selif, and Victoria. Joseph Braga has taken the bull, has taken the bull by the horn in less than two months. Prince Masakwe, for the very, for one of the very first time, I want to agree with you that Joseph Yuma Braga mustered the courage to do that. I want to agree with you. You see, the play where the two air will put the two there. The bloody facts are we also put it there and we accept the facts. We are saying, most of the courage and saying that one thing. Let Joseph Walker sign the executive order because these are politicians. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. They can kind of sweet talk you and sweet morph you or whatever it is. Let Joseph Walker take it a step further and sign the executive orders. Let him do that. Then we know. You know, in as much as we're saying, like, bro, a step, a uh, 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 million might begin with one step. Well, when you take that one step and you don't get on the middle of my journey, you're going nowhere. So we agree that it begins with one step, but what next after the one step? So maybe you, as a supporter of Joseph Human Boyka, maybe you need to be standing with us and calling Joseph Human Boyka to sign this document. It can That's be the bluff, the political bluff. The political we bluff. We can do that. So I'm not content. I'm, I don't settle for less. I'm not going to settle for, oh, Joseph Boyka took the step and he said it in his speech and he, you know, they're passing around with him and pushing it around. No, 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 no. Let Joseph Boyka put big ball pants on and sign that paper as a president. Let him do that. Then you got my attention. You think I'm impressed by temporary assignment? No, I'm not impressed by temporary assignment. Let's get to the real deal. Let's handle the issue. And Joseph Baga wants to deal with the issue finally. Let Joseph Baga put pen to paper. When Joseph Baga drop pen on that thing, on both documents, then I know Joseph Baga is serious. Then I know myself who yeah, I can come in public and say, Joseph Baga set record, made history, and Joseph Baga should be applauded for that. Anything less than that, my brother. Yep, it's a sense you know, and, and, and one thing you says, uh, uh, Steve, I want for Prime Master Square to understand. Look, this thing is not politics. There are certain things we always say on the show. There are things that are bigger than politics. 
because if we if we take this action the entire country benefit irrespective of your political leader or political party this they can have been kicked down the road forever so we can say yeah we want to give him the credit but steve said it right let him wear his big ball pants and sign this executive order because there are so many things that go on behind the scene whether it's the international community pushing him towards it or whether he fundamentally believes that people should face justice so certain moves that Boaga will make, and we will talk Joseph Boaga home on this platform if he made those moves. Let the executive <laughs> order that the first step. Then we know that the old man, you know what he pushed it from the executive brain. But until then, we're not gonna say we're giving him credit because of the red direction. No, because other president play the same games. Two presidents. Exactly. So Boaga got to differentiate himself in the crowd by doing yeah. something that will prove to all that yeah, you know what, this time is not business as usual. And until then, we're not giving you no credit for that. No, until then, we can't worry about it. Mr. Kana, any update over there? Because you're going to be on Sunday now. Mr. Kana, you're not going to be on Sunday now. No, I'm looking at you and there. You won't be. You won't, you won't. I think we are eight or nine. I, I, no. I want to sign no, twice. No, no. It, 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 more than that, uh, Monk. Let me update you guys. I suspect yeah. Mr. Kana, Steve. I suspect Mr. Kana, that is around. <laughs> yeah, I suspect you bigly. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, you know what I want? I should stop. Yeah, but we ain't playing, playing. Nothing coming from anybody. Going on. Yeah, but that one coming do now. Give me chance, man. Yeah, man. Play a role, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So, more, more. We got thirteen people now, and but then two, among the thirteen people, somebody gave sixty dollars. Oh. And then and then two so yeah I just want I just want to make sure we we'll get you right and then two people two people give fifty dollar each. So, okay, so you can do it for fifty hundred. If we do about twenty that five right there, we were eleven shot, and somebody yeah. gave us sixty, sixty, sixty. Six, two, somebody gets this, and two people give fifty fifty. Yeah, so five that, for three that eight. Two that eight. So and, we and, then, three, and, then, and then another twenty dollar just came. Oh my God! Then we three we okay, three. Okay, Mister Sarah, wait, 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 Sarah's way. Monk, that department that we're see, don't confuse you. We don't want to get more than what, what we request. No, wait, wait. When wait, we put wait, get wait. the money, we'll reach that part, then we we'll stop it. No, you see that, that the issue there. That the secret issue there. You want me to stop it? No, no, no. Why is stopping there? I want to bring secret issue on the show. Okay. Mr. Kane, look at the right. Mr. Kane, you won't lose that job. You won't lose the job of counting the money. You won't lose that job. That job, you're looking like you're not, you're not, you're, you're not making on that job. So you, know, you, you want me to update the people and we'll reach the target, we'll just stop it? No, you are not making, you are not making on that job. Do I look at you? You are not making on that job. I can tell you right now. Okay. That just, we'll, we'll, we'll give the next few minutes, let the plan plan be going on. You got to know that plan plan sound like be going on. Why would we'll this cause an issue? And then we can calculate, you know, at the end we can calculate the booty okay. of our uh, SKT will get no refund. Oh, no, because you say I should update, but let me say something about what you guys are <laughs> Keep the the the, the pump pump going. I let her hear that sound. You know that funny sound. I let her hear it. Yeah, somebody asked me for mobile money. Yeah, mobile money is uh is Sarah's number and and uh and, and what you need the mobile number. You know that you send in anything, they can tell us. You can let us know as well. But but let me. The person was asking for mobile money number. I think that person is somewhere now in America. Still, still, you, you want to you want to pin Sarah's you want to pin Sarah's number so I can pin it. Yeah, send it to me. Which one? Because I got different numbers for him. That's the thing. And you know one of the other is, number there. Is it? Is it? They got it. They got it. Support you. He says he can see the love in my face for counting the money, but I will not make it because <laughs> because, 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 because because I talk about stopping it when we will reach the target. They, they say I will not make it. Yeah, somebody said we should pin the number. Um, you don't know, you don't, you don't know, you don't know, Sarah's number. I, I can pin it. What? Sarah, yeah. Sarah, 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 Ryan number, man, so we can pin it. The thing about it is, by the way, I got Sarah's number company, here. Let me, let me there's it. another company that the number they're not going, you know. What is it, Mila, bro? Yeah, the phone company, they want phone in the water. I hear say, someone left in the water there with a fiber cable or whatever it is. I don't know what they call that again. Sarah, what? what? Monk. I know, I know, um, I know that GSM that that Lone Star. I have said Lone Star. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, I think only 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 orange yes. make it. Yeah, orange, 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 yeah, orange make no, it. Orange, 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 orange stronger though. Orange very strong. Yeah, I hear Lone Star name make it. So I don't know from the local things. Yeah, they say. <laughs> yeah, I want to say JNB or the team will start with SKTV. <laughs> 
Yeah, that would be good. Oh. That would be good. You know, let me, let me tell you about you guys. Let me tell you about you guys a secret here, right? Mm -hmm. When you see me talking about our well, listeners and audience making some kind of a commitment, it's almost the same thing we are making for Joseph Braga case. People want the SKTV. Oh, we want you guys to have your own radio station because there will come a time the Braga administration will become combative. Okay, yeah, that's a great move. But running a station is more complicated and more expensive. So if we can do the little test and you're not even fully committed, you know, we'll make you think we'll do something that bigger. Like what we say, let Joseph Braga make a smaller move that will suggest that he will make a bigger move. And that is yep. simply with SKTV here. We get our guys over there. You got the operation going. So if you can make the little commitment, then we can say, you know what? We take it into another so, level. So the, the number, the number, your pin out number there. Yeah, Sarah's number there. I'm not, let me make sure we can put it somewhere else. Two, three, one, seven, seven, six, five, two, two, six, two, five. Is that correct? Mon, Mon, just look at the one that happened on, on over there. So let me read the one you know from the number itself. Two, three, one. Uh -huh. Seven seven six six yes five two two six two five two five yeah it's correct that's the one on the screen that's the one yeah that's that's number there Saros Saros name yeah so so you know if you hear to and uh, you know and you if you hear to and you hustling you know and your friend is making it and bringing somebody from Bahu Saros that that single man care for the record oh. and you can send them a picking up my man my man don't confuse you. No more there. No, we do it with that transactional business we own here now. That, that department there, the social aspect of the kind. Monk, you feel it? Yeah. Yeah. So my opinion. So, so, so you making the case for the beginning too? No, I gotta face my opinion now. Cause that no more there. You can test my opinion, Sarah. On it, but you gotta be serious though. Yeah, you don't be funny for no. The people just the people the people just testing sending up sending yeah, money yeah, money, yeah, money yeah, I for yeah, the mobile phone number. My opinion, Sarah, is on WhatsApp. Uh, uh, he on WhatsApp, and you know, he got SK. When you see the SK TV video there, even though <laughs> the problem that the picking was no more compromise, too. So, so, <laughs> so if my picking print, my boy is saying that now uh, we're we, we bringing that you represent, man, yeah, yeah. Man, I want to read that comment, too. yeah, because so that means that means the United Party, which one is bending that you there? <laughs> no, but so I, we're, I, all the, we're all the good to bend you there for you, no, but but. Uh, yeah, Steve, you no, want to something? No, but, but the Benina UA issue, the Benina UA issue, there has always been a target on Benina UA directly or indirectly on Lone Star. If you notice it most recently, you remember they caught in red and so forth? Remember before Benina UA could do that as he was chairman of the CPP? Hey, hey, hold on one second. Somebody asked a question. Edin Crow, you were the very first person that sent the money on Zell. That the 21st, 21st, say, well, we announced it. Unless you guys want me to, you know, me, I let the cry about any. No, but no. Edwin, yeah, yeah, we did receive it. Yeah, he, the man is asking whether we receive his contribution. Oh, okay. Edwin, your contribution will receive to you. Yeah, that, that, that was the very first one on, on Zell. That was the, before yeah. we even start, before we even start to announce anything. You know, some people can always donate without even waiting for us to, you know, tell them on Friday. Yeah. That, that's, that's something I wanted to make clear. Yeah. That's something I wanted to make clear. Go ahead. That, that's something I really, really wanted to make clear. And that is, you remember SKTV broke on news and you were the one that flagged that particular news and I did. When, when Ben and I you had decided to make a campaign speech for President George, where when he was sitting CPP uh, uh, chairman, you remember? When he yeah. distributed yeah. that order, when bucket. he went to the, bucket, remember the bucket, yeah. <laughs> and you flagged that and you said it was a serious concern as a sitting chairman of the... Part of that deal was, part of that deal at the time was, Ben and I, we had to make that move so that Joey Allen could ease up, ease up on Lone Star Cell. It was part of the agreement and the arrangement. So Ben and I, were doing that, you know. And, and, and now, and now that to, to agree with you, Joey had already brought in the country some guys that he, Joey created a cell phone company. And the reason why they could not, that Chevron company could not get into operation because of they didn't have the tower to use. So what they wanted to do, they wanted to kick the Lone Star out of business. But the father, Emmanuel Shaw, was business partner to Bernard Jure. He said no. So all the things that they were doing, 
you know, taking the free town, free court, taking doing this, doing that, doing this. And Ben Nigeria was also fighting down for the money that they stopped from going to him, the two hundred thousand dollars we get, he was receiving from the Maritime from London. So all that fight was going on. So they kind of like, you know, pressurized Benin Nigeria to agree to anything, including hold, I mean, undermining the CPP. And that's why Benin Nigeria caved into their pressure. And that's why Costa was fighting hard because Costa was also working for Benin Nigeria. So everything that was going on between them to just to destroy, it was for Benin Nigeria. That's why when Benin Nigeria went against Joseph Jim Abuakai and Costa, all the thing I tell, I tell Benin Nigeria, then, I don't take them seriously. Benin Nigeria, they were acting like that time that they were just against communists, but they didn't want CPP to survive, you know, to succeed. Similarly, when Joseph Jim Abuakai didn't listen to them, the same thing, they were still fighting for George Weir. And what happened eventually, eventually, they went to endorse George Weir. We said it years back that Benin Ure and Costa, they were working for CDC, they were, they were insulting us here. They were insulting us here. And when Benin Ure then, and Joseph Baga and anything happened, when I said Joseph Baga was a victim because he still is saying something that he doesn't know what's going on, they meant that they were working for George Weir. People say, oh, no, 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 Joseph Baga know what's going on. Joseph Baga, they're not, they're not small man, they're not small boy. Joseph Baga know what's going on. Guess what happened? Eventually, they went against him and went back and went back home. They went back to George Weah. So, Liberian politics is just easy if you pay attention. It's just easy to know what's going on if you pay attention. But still, we've been here now for maybe... Yeah, hours. we can we can include, but before you get the final the final numbers over there, no, we want to know the update so we know how much. Yeah, we before, yeah. Okay. before second, we can get the final update because we'll get the update and then we'll come close because we're doing no. All right, let me do this. Second, second, hold on now. We do not reveal. No, 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 I'm counting it. Yeah, you, yeah. you just do whatever you do. Yes, second, you know, Sarah, second can do no. We're doing a no reform policy. I understand second won't to do reform policy, but no reform policy yet, um, because we can only receive, we don't give back. <laughs> you want to say <laughs> so that's where we are with life. Um, but Saras, let me ask you this last question before we, we close up for the day. Um, mm -hmm. I know during the past election, uh, somebody said, Oh, my get a name, Ellen Sender said, Oh, my get a name for the mobile money account. Oh, but Ellen to strategic goals, Saras <laughs> Snell Money, Saras yeah. Money. Yeah, one, I think she want to verify because you know in Labra the no, no reform policy for money transfer. So they no, 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 that's not correct. I'm saying oh, something mm -hmm. on that on that number. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know when we sometimes we send stuff for for them over there. Sometimes we send everything to Sarah. Sarah can distribute. Yeah, Sarah, Sarah got a repetition of delivery. Yeah, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah got good repetition with that. Sarah no, you get, you get good repetition. How we got to face things with him. We got to yeah, face. Sarah him. is good. Your energy you sent to him. So now, even if you receive something, you know, or noon to all, you will tell me, oh, somebody send me this one, yo. Yeah, yeah. you can cook it. Every thing you want to, the same thing. Yeah, and the thing about Before it, they can do that. The thing about it, the thing about it, they can also, you know, after you send the money, you can, you can do social testing. You not get a problem with that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We know what time it is. But, 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 but let, 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 let's get back to this question, Cyrus, before Sebu can give us this whole thing. Cyrus, I know you want for us to. To hold off on a hundred or ninety days deliverables and wait till on a ninety days mark here, which will be in about looking at the calendar, it will be in forty-two days, yes, one, yes. one twelve days, mm -hmm. starting off today. So the countdown is forty-two days. Um, Monk, what what say you with, with if Prince Johnson goes on with his plan to resist arrest, especially from the local officials on ground? Let's just say, let's let restrict it to the local officials on ground. Well, it's something that I anticipate that we said it on the show, and Prince Johnson even hinted of that move when he mentioned that they are more generous and most ex fighter in Nima County as compared to any other county in the country. He said that. So I guess, look, I tell people on this show all the time, I live on the ring of Prince Johnson throughout the war from Bushwell Island into Corway and whatsoever. So I know Prince Johnson like my ABC book. I know when he's sending coded encrypted messages. 
He has done it on so many occasions. He's a military tactician. He knows exactly what he's doing. My thing here is, once the commander-in-chief... You see, the one that Vander Joseph Burger has in this whole war and economic crime quote thing is a unanimous consent among the Liberian people. And Alan West said it all over the country. Maybe seven out of ten Liberians is in favor of war crimes code. So, Baga got nothing to worry about. Baga won't be on the ballot 2029 to be like he got a cozy up to print Johnson yet to secure a second term in office. And you said it right. If Joseph Baga can take that bold leap of faith and sign that executive order, an executive order does not guarantee war crimes code, but it tells us that the president is serious about implementing war crimes code. That's the idea of an executive order because we asked Alan White that question here that what happened if our lawmakers, especially those in the upper house, take a 360 degree turn as compared to the resolution from the lower house. And he said it right. We need an executive order from Joseph Baca. So Prince Johnson resorting to military means or trying to leverage X fighter, it won't be screened for me because that's all he been after. For Prince Johnson, he thinks his safety comes before the well-being of the blood. And, and, and more, more, not to yes. cut you off, let me just add it, then you can conclude what yeah. you're saying. The people are aware of Prince Johnson's action. They are <laughs> expecting Prince Johnson to do exactly what he's doing right now. Prince Johnson being watched. We told you guys here on the other show, on the show the other day when Steve laughed when I said it, because Steve didn't even want me to say that particular information. When I said there are people, special agents in the country looking over, looking over certain people because they expect them to do certain things. Let me tell you, if anything funny, <laughs> any funny attempt, they will use the ego on him. Of Prince Johnson <laughs> or any other person, trust me, you'll be surprised. They, they, they may go, they may be, you know, taken for safekeeping even before the process. The war crank, the actual war crank, you yes. said it, you said that right. That it, that it, that the contrary, it yeah. will be before then. You They're just watching. Like. They're just watching. They're just watching. They're all the dangling and dancing in here and there. So, Steve, you, let me know. You may read it. I can get. Give yeah. It. So, so why are why are you feeling with that? Yeah, you know, well, Basil, come back on a question, Steve. Before yeah, yeah, or, yeah, or, let's 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 and it please. also a confirmation of things that we've been saying on SKTV. If Prince Johnson is showing the kind of a tantrum, even before Joseph Baca can sign an executive order, then exactly what you guys said that the war crimes code is a full I mean it's a foregone conclusion, which means it is a must that it will happen. Then that then Prince Johnson actually just confront because mm -hmm. Joseph Baca is yet to sign an executive order. So the army president actually said, but even the president himself is not even on board yet. The Senate is not even on board yet to get a consent on the uh, resolution from the lower house. So why would Prince Johnson be? operating in such a manner so it means that he already know that anything happening and they are just beauty contest but the whole deal about war crime code has been sealed that would be my interpretation yes uh, yeah, so, so so we were, we were we were informed i think we said it the other day here monk all the documents that are supposed to be signed who's supposed to sign it we they're already it. in possession with of all the documents we get it all of them <laughs> they get it all of them they get it <laughs> so the one financial cover is supposed to sign, he get it. The one your mother comes over to sign, he get it. it. He get it. The one do the bargain supposed to sign, he get it. Bargain, he got it. So everybody got their own document and looking at it. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> they're looking at it. They're looking at it with their eagle eyes. They're looking yes. at it. They're looking at the document. The document so looking understand at everything in it. They're looking at the document, the document looking at them, and they look at look at each other. Yeah, that's where we are. But Mr. Kanan, before before just before you make the, the, the you close the announcement, tomorrow we'll be on the show by the grace of God. Um we are working on inviting someone. <laughs> uh we'll clarify some of those things first before we invite a person. Um hopefully we're working on something, something different. Um we are also trying to diversify the conversation. Like we started today with the, you know, starting to understand what's going on politically from the yeah. internet and so forth. We'll be having some of these discussions, you know, back and forth. Um, I just want to say this to the people of Nima 
and Prince Johnson, if you're following this show, or if you're watching, or you can share the show with Prince Johnson, I know he's probably following. Please, to our mothers, our fathers, to our nieces and our nephews, those of you who are children, please speak to your fathers with your children. If you're a child, I mean, speak to your father, speak to your family member, speak to your loved one, parents, speak to your children. Nobody should get in the street because Prince Johnson business. Don't waste your time. The children should not waste their time. Please, don't do that. I'm encouraging you, I'm begging you to the people in Nima County, please. If Prince Johnson wants to create own noise or whatever it is, he ain't get chair member there. Hey, chair member, be loyal to him. He's a, he's a rev, he's a member, but he ain't get church. Let us stand for the let us stand for him and the spiritual father. But please, the people of Nima County, you don't Nima County is a you know that Seku County the plowing for born, you know, and Nima County is a county that you know when you're passing through Nima is a county when I used to play in Guinea, I'll pass through Nima and I'll you know I'll come. Look, every time I'll pass through either JK or Bosu Boro, when I'll get to, to, to Nima, yeah, either JK because I used to change my route, my my route. Yeah. Bosu Bora, Bosu Bora, you know, there are two Bora that are in the road. Exactly, exactly. We talk about that Bora, right? But Mr. Kahneman, the, the most important part about it is this. I will always sleep in Ganta. And the reason I will sleep in Ganta is because I love the atmosphere, the ambience, the yeah, momentum, yeah. the zeal, the city can yes. sleep. People, people, used sleep. people used to stay outside late in Ganta. Mr. Kahneman, the, the, the city can sleep. Yeah, the city can sleep. And, and you know the, the, the interesting part? When you swallow... And, and the people who are going to be late. Yeah, and the one who getting to When you swallow cold GB. You know what I mean? Look, let me tell you something. I used to uh. nap tea in the night before I sleep in the morning. Early morning. When you swallow cold GB, eh, your life can be set. Your life can be set. There is nothing like cold GB in the morning. So they don't give us a hat. I said that they also sort of commercialized and made the city beautiful. You know, like Prince Johnson, you know, Spring Johnson is someone who yell, you tell it, and you went staying for him to go do what he Don't waste your time. Let's move that thing forward. Let's move the country forward. Yeah. And this goes to the people of Grand Gide as well. Uh, Job Bole and all the other warlords in Grand Gide, when they when the time come and they are called and they want to pull a resistance, my dear, don't put your life, don't put yourself there yet. That's all I want to say to you. So, 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 so with that thing, uh, even, even speaking about some of the uh, people that we expect to come here to have a conversation, we are in conversation too with, uh, you know, uh, to bring, um, what's his name, uh, from, from from Grand Jire, what's his name, the senator from Grand Jire. Was open, huh? No, the, the guy who was... The guy who was actually uh yeah yeah Nimle. Yeah yeah Thomas Yeah Nimle. We're trying to bring Thomas Yeah Nimle on the on the show. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to have a conversation with him, you know, publicly. And there were there were a lot of misconceptions about him on some stuff. And his people are saying that some of the information uh out there are not true. In fact, you know. There were a lot of details, you know, that we received. So we want him to come and put his face to it so that we can be able to ask him questions publicly so he can uh, clarify some of those concerns that, you know, they have, especially when it comes to the public record. Yeah, but, well, you know, so among you, the, the only thing I don't understand, mm -hmm. you say if you, somebody says we should invite Job Bully to, Job Bully, Steve is not, not connected with Job Bully, but you get Job Bully number send it to us, we can invite him. <laughs> Yeah, if you got job information and he's willing to come, definitely would. We yeah, him. definitely we can invite him. Ah. Yeah, so Stephen Job got no link, no connection. And he and to the and, and, and to and to those of you who have been misspelling the last name, one is spelled B O L E Y, and mine is spelled B O L A Y. They're two different. So yeah. just you know, we said this thing over and over. But yeah, it's okay. But some people don't understand. We just have to you know educate them. So Monk, the only. Uh, Thing that I have, you know, the last time I said, 
in order for me to be coming here on the show here during the morning my dad got to pay me 15 dollars mm. an hour 30 dollars a day right for two hours and we always do three from the hour and something like that so the very first time people as about five people donated 30 dollars and we said maybe we'll have to get some you know something out of there but guess what happened the next day when i we got that money the five put that sent it that sent it you know i even though maybe we're not fighting but i share with him steve said i will not do that because yeah, share with share money with me, boy. Me, boy, I can't do you. Me, boy, me, boy, go to. Yeah, it's on the party. weekend. They say weekend, me, boy, don't play with weekend. Almost <laughs> whatever that was. Yeah, so we did that. But more today, when you said you let's do twenty for twenty. Twenty, yes. I she wanted twenty people to donate twenty at least twenty dollars. Yeah, at least right. Yes. When you tell me, man, will tell you how many people. So no, 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 no. Wait, let me check. <laughs> yes, let me check. Let me check. Oh, we double check on the money. At least. At least 22 people donated instead of wow. 20 people. 22 yeah, so when we, we, and we, out we, of the 22 we, people, most of it are 25 dollars and 20 dollars. Mm -hmm. But then one person donated 60 dollars. I said that. So that covered two people, two people. Two people donated 50 dollars each. Mm -hmm. So this one beat where you yeah. So what I what I want to say here, even though you said earlier that you know the normal contribution to SK TV on Friday is different from the Ramadan thing, I will yeah. just let my own go now because people, the people, they yeah, know, see the they expectation. <laughs> yeah, they said they see the expectation. So you know, you know, you guys know I was I was not going to do that regardless. It's just a matter of you know showing us how much you appreciate what we do. And also to also touch your commitment. Because we want to do the bigger, the bigger thing for us, for our people. And if we can commit to do the small one, it will be easier for us to do the big one. It's all about commitment to each other. We commit to making sure that we bring you information that you need. We come here every day to have a show. And you come here every day to share the show. Those are commitments. You come here. Sometimes some of you say, even you busy at work, you will come on just to share the show. Even taking your friends to come on. We don't come on one or two days, you call us. Even we come on late, one hour late, you call him and say, Oh, happy no show today. That is commitment. So we have to make sure we do that. And I can tell you how much I personally appreciate, you know, all of you guys, you know, for what you do. And amongst the people that donated, there are certain people, Monk and Steve. Which is one of the people that have two of the people that gave their fifty dollars, fifty dollars, even though they don't want me to call you calling their name, but they are committed almost every Friday. Even sometimes, if that other lady, if she's not going to come on today, she will say on Thursday she will say this is my donation for Friday. Yeah, monkey, imagine. That's great. That's impressive. Yeah. You know, sometimes they get a person the flower, a flower they are alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This person will send. Sometimes, if the person don't watch the show on Saturday or Friday, Saturday will say, "Oh, I missed the show yesterday, but my 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 contribution for the Friday," because they're the one that come that say, "You know, we don't have to be doing this every day, every day. Let's take Friday, whatever we can get, that five dollar, that ten dollar, whatever you can get. Let's show, you know do that. Use that for." Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Friday, yeah. the end of the week, we do. We, that, that's what I'm saying. We 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 revolutionize the way we raise money. We will do it by target. We will be like, okay, like today we say 20 for 20, which means 20 people should give at least $20, right? So you can yeah. even give more than 20, but at least that's the bare minimum. Maybe sometimes yeah. we'll say, okay, let, let's do 20 for 30. That's a, I mean, it's it's on a weekly thing and on a Friday, and like that person suggested. And that person, even though they want to remain anonymous, but these kind of people sometimes got to call them out. So it serves as motivation for other people who want to be committed. Yeah, but you know, in, in, in one person, they were, was, yeah. you know, but mostly they are females. They, they all say that, you know, so cool, yeah. let's not be doing this every day, every day. Every day yeah. let, let's just commit Friday, whatever everybody can get a five dollar, that one dollar, that two dollar, that twenty dollar, a hundred dollar, anything we get. Sometimes some people will not get it every Friday, some people get it every other Friday. But let's just do it on Friday. That that's they suggested that. Unless something else comes up. But other than our normal, you know, no thing to keep the TV yeah, going is on Friday. Yeah. So yeah. Monk, 
thank you and yeah. you want to thank you're going to tell your people thank you for actually listening to Indeed. your request and they did it. Indeed. Even with our internet, at least we hit our regular, I mean, the, the attendance is not too bad for, even we are being on the radio and the internet being dying, like, yeah. we still appreciate our American audience and the global audience from other parts of the world outside of the U.S., but at least they're not in Liberia so they can access the, the internet. And John, 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 I'm sorry, John say I took him for somebody else today. John, one other John, the, the John Hina that used to be calling from Connecticut for you, that, that was the person. That person is GNB Fanatics, and he is ready to attack anybody anytime if you say the wrong thing about GNB. So that's I thought you were the John Hina that I know. <laughs> yeah, so the person that I I, I I couldn't mistake him for somebody else. I'm sorry. So Steve. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Bonnet, uh, well, thank you, folks, for your contribution today. Um, we're going to reach out to our people in the home and make it, sure, make it happen for them. Um, Mr. Kane, thank you. Monk, thanks, as always. Um, those of you who will be finding the show later, thank you also. Thanks for your continuous support of SKTV. Um, we'll be back here tomorrow with the issues, on the issues, to discuss the issues. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, Mo, Mo, let me tell you, let me tell you this guy. No, not just this year, uh-huh, even last year, even the year before. Wow. When the breakfast time come, and make me ask him what kind of thing in there, what, what kind of what kind of what, <laughs> what we eating for breakfast today? <laughs> and you're not even fasting. <laughs> oh, the, no, the message, the message can pass. Oh, well, yeah. man, I, I'm, I'm fasting my heart. I'm fasting at heart. Yeah. But but Lynn, Lynn will soon be around the corner at the Easter, so it will almost. Yeah, so, so, oh, and, and let me tell you something. Let me tell you the funny thing. You know, Steve can speak French. Just just like do grown up born in Africans. Yeah. And you know they are learning French. Yeah. <laughs> you can speak that thing. So <laughs> so some of people there can that, that came from Guinea, some came from Africans. Mm-hmm. So they, they can come and break fast together. We see there and speak talking. Yeah? Just the Steve, 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 my older sister that born her children in Africans. Mm-hmm. So even when I went there, the children used to be calling me refugee. <laughs> refugee. <Yeah. laughs> so, so the one day they can speak French so good. So when they have still been talking, you're like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, let me say this. While we're still talking. Yeah. I mean, I left to Amazon. I said 22 per night or 24 people now because one person sent $20 again on cash app and somebody else also sent $25 on Zelle. So that's great. That's well, great. Well, we'll stay here. Yeah. I know yeah. if you were here, we'll stay here so we can. <laughs> no, that, that, you know, see, that, that, that the issue there, that the sticker part there. You understand? That the sticker part right there. But, but, <laughs> kind of... well, I just let to announce it so the poor will know that whatever they do, we recognize it. <laughs> yeah, for you. But the thing here, you haven't called me to tell me what the only menu for all breaking to net. The private net. Yeah, but I'll call, I'll call after the show. What do you say on the show? But you, you just do all reporting. You're not reporting to me. What a story. Oh, well, Monica, Monica, we got Monica Lama. Yeah, yeah. That's why I can work with it. Okay, okay. We and, read, read, read. And, and it's not a way they can face B. They call it support. We got that one too. So support. So okay, okay, okay. And you know, lovely. So when we having TIG? Um, no, Naji here too. Okay, 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 but then, but then things are the, the charging part. Maybe if you request it, then we can do the charging tomorrow. Whatever, yeah, you want. yeah. You know, the weekend when you do it like that, then you're passing. Okay, you imagine the man I'm passing the man already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's not fair. Do I? I'm I'm not supporting the whole idea, but it may begin. Yeah, be the to to all of you. More, I just see that. But that, the thing about it, the thing about it, my my the, my gun for the Ramadan or the bio, it said. Oh, yeah, you remember? That. You said well, you remember where your wife came from from Nigeria? They, Nigeria. They, 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 you know that. Oh man, I I, I already. Put yeah, this. Gonna wear, they they, they, they were going to wear Friday. What? I'll, I will open the Friday prayer. No, man, don't, don't, make mon, don't make more jealous. Man. Mom, you know why? You got to put in your order. 
I know, right? You gotta, you gotta <laughs> tell her, madam. You gotta tell her, madam. Just, just tell her, sir. She, she got, she got to make sure she provide for you too. All right, that that would be fair. That would be fair. You know that that justice right there with the whole yeah. suit. Yeah. And, and, and then the other suit, the other suit, I will keep it for <laughs> Easter. The other suit is brought for me. You understand? I got two of them. I will keep that one for Easter. Wild, wild, oh, okay. Easter day. <laughs> the point they right, man, I, I do want okay, to okay, thank you. We'll leave it for two hours and forty nine minutes, almost. Yeah, Prince Masakwe he is the most hated person here because we block him. No. No more blocking Prince Masakwe. We're not blocking anybody anymore. We just want everybody to be, you know, as respectful as you can be. Stating your opinion, saying that's not true, that's a lie, that's better. There's no, no problem with that. Yeah, uh, the peanut butter so Steve called right there, a uh, roof. When you got TIG, Steve, the way Steve can call it, when it goes through, then you can't believe it. The peanut butter so you're talking about, that one he wants us to eat. Yeah, so. We have no problem with you, Prince Masako. You're a brother. We just don't let you guys attacking each other or insulting, making other people uncomfortable on the platform. If you can only insult me or insult Steve or Monk, we will still keep you here. We just tell you, you know, to be moderate. We don't encourage you to speak to insult. But I just believe that somebody who insult it says more about the person who is insulting than the person you're insulting. So but you don't want you to be attacking our sisters, our ladies, you know, making them uncomfortable on the platform, insulting them like that guy, Joma Jala can do. You know, that's what I've been, personally, I can tell the, you know, the guys in behind the scene to be muting him if he, for 15 minutes. If you insult anybody here one or two times, they just mute him. We don't block anybody anymore. We don't take you off. Because we believe that the platform belongs to all of us. It belongs to Liberia, and we are all Liberians. So, regardless of our disagreement or who we support, it doesn't matter. It belongs to all of us. And by the way, I think I remember Prince Masako supporting uh, all financially one time, maybe one time, or maybe like zero time. I don't even, I'm not even sure. But yes, this is your platform too. It's everybody's platform. Let's just respect each other. Do not insult our fans. That that is the, you know. We have no, we have zero tolerance on that. You cannot make the play uncomfortable for other people. You can disagree, but don't attack other people on their opinion. Don't do that. You have the right to do whatever you want to say. That's on you. But we don't want anybody to be uncomfortable. We have a lot of silent listeners in the older folks that sometimes call us in a virtual, even when we say anything, they will say, hey, we don't still be saying those kind of things. We have older folks that come on the show here. They've been here forever. One of the former senators from River says, from the time we should watch the show, do the show on the cell phone, been watching, and been calling us, talking to us, advising us. Even one of my Oma too, in Philadelphia there. And one of my papi called me, papi said, say, what do you know you from Nima? But today, say, you told him, you told him, what is from Nima, you my son. He said, give your papi. He also in Maryland. It cost me all the time. And also, they watch the show all the time. So that's why I said anything. We don't want people to say it on the show, especially writing, insulting people, calling people names. Yeah, I'm not going to call names. They get you want to put me in trouble. But yeah, yeah, thank you so much. We appreciate you guys. You have a blessed weekend. Today is Friday. And now we will be here tomorrow.